how's everybody doing? What's up, Blah? What's up, Marcus? What's up, Rain? What's up, Hatch? Cosmic? How you guys doing? Dual Cup 17! Holy, we're already at 17. <laughs> Welcome. So, yeah, I mean, check-ins will be opening in a minute, actually. So, yeah, we're going to be hopping right into the action. Doing good, how about you? I'm doing good. I'm glad to be... I woke up this morning, I'm like, wait, this is a doodle cup this morning. And I shot out of bed, excited to stay away from like that, but you know, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be here. What's up, Happy Boy? What's up, Bella? True, time flies and you're having fun. Bella's got the goofiest team. Hmm. We'll have to be the judge of that here, but yes, I should, uh, I should ping about this, because check-in should be opening in the next minute. Like, it's 9 o'clock. Yeah, no, they're open right now. So yeah, if you are part of round, well, if you're part of the, yeah, if you're part of the tournament and have a round one, then yeah, feel free to check in and we'll hop right into it. We have nine, nine round one sets, it looks like. All right. Can I just copy paste? Seconds are open. Yeah, we'll just, uh. Okay. I realized after hosting 17 cups that I can just copy paste the previous round messages and not have to type them all out every time. So, yeah. Um. The check. No, 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 no. For, for round two, so. Round two says that the check-ins will open at 11.30 or EST or 10.30 CST. That's just because it forces me to put in a time. So round two check-ins are gonna start immediately after all of round one's done. So that could be 10.30, that could be 10, that could be 11. Like it, it depends on how long these round one matches take. If there's not a single round one match, then those will open right away. So, you know, like they, they basically open as soon as all of the previous rounds are over, and I'll, you know, I'll talk about that here, plus I'll ping for it on Discord, so, yeah. The Phoenix I lost today. The radio isn't ready for this heat. Crazy. Alright, we're gonna hop in that match and see. Hope y'all like the logo. Yes, so what do you guys think of, uh, what do you guys think of this cup's logo? pretty uh I couldn't think of a joke in time never mind <laughs> I was trying to think of a joke based on a monkey uh anyways I just finished training my team yo the bananas you yeah, know that logo is pretty bananas I can't lie like bananas isn't it cool and awesome and yeah but anyways, we are, yeah, we're gonna hop in Sunny and Radio's game here. 10 out of 10, there you go, perfect score right there. I'm gonna play some LOI with my round. Have you done some zoo long off stream? No, we were, uh... We were actually we were in Lumen Legacy, but we were uh, we were planning stuff for a possible showcase. Also, I forgot to mass purge this channel before. Uh, that's fine. We'll just do it later. But yeah, um, please, if you are part of round ones and round twos later on, then yeah, make sure you're submitting your teams because, I mean, this is the second tournament so that'll contribute to this usage period, or whatever. So yes, get more accurate usage. It's cool. It helps us all. But anyways, we're gonna want to put names in here. Yo, is that Night Havoc in the game? Oh wait, why do they group together? All right, and yes, all um, all rounds are round or best of three, just because there's only three rounds. Like previous cups, when it was like 
over 64 people, that'd be four rounds. But just because it's under that, we just say everything's best of three. So yeah. What's up, Elder? How's it going? I think Wish is dead. I, I don't think that's the case, and I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> I don't know where you got that idea from, but, uh, yeah. Alright, is, uh, is the radio here? I mean, if not, we can just hop in, like, a different game. That's fine. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, we're waiting for Icy Ridge, I guess. Like, that's been, you know, in the works for a while. Yo, what's up, Electro? How's it going? What have you been doing? Okay, so... I don't know where radio is, so we're gonna hop in a different game here. I don't really feel like waiting around where we can just, you know, do this and yeah. All right, we got burrito and orang. We're gonna hop in that match. Yo, what's up, Insania? How's it going? New doodle today? Wait, is it new doodle today? Wait, Easter part two is today. What? Oh, bruh. Bruh, bruh, right as I join, right as I leave, they join. Well, uh, it's still, it's too late now, but we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna watch Oreg and Burrito instead. It is best of three, so I mean, we might end up going back in that match later on, but, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, the, um, the bulb thing that we saw an image of, right, right, right. right. Okay, uh, is Orang is not here. Okay, we're gonna go back into the other one. They're gonna join right as I leave. Okay. Ha, I didn't get caught, there we go. Okay, they're here. <laughs> All right, we are watching this match. We're gonna hop into it in a sec. But yeah, wasn't Easter supposed to come out? After Icy Ridge? Like the second part of the Easter... I swear someone said that. Because I was like... I'm not making fun of, but I'm like, wait, but like, you know, that's literally going to be a month after Easter. I don't know. I guess we'll see today. Moderator has called the set? Wait. For which... Glory. Uh... Oh, wait. That's because I met... Okay, wait, Glory, you don't have, John, your opponent hasn't checked in. I, th wait, what does that even mean? Did they, did they all say that? Or no, it's just, that's weird. I don't know, but your, your opponent's not there, so don't, don't worry about it. If they don't show up in the next two minutes, you get the win, so. Yesterday, when brackets final, or registration closed and, like, brackets finalized, I, I put the time in a day early by accident. So I had the day off yesterday, so I, like, felt like the weekend to me. I don't know, I just made a mistake. And, like, all the matches, check-ins opened. So I had to, like, fix it, then reset every bracket. Every so I don't know if that that might have been why. I don't know if I missed resetting... What is that, pool A? It should be fine, but I, I don't know. It's If your opponent doesn't check in, then you get the win, so... That's all that matters, I suppose. Is TFK here? I believe TFK has a... I, don't, I haven't seen his name. I think he. I don't think he has a round one. I don't believe. Anyways, it's time. Guys, there's a gold gift. We must claim it. Alright. Okay, into the action. So we have a snow clone here. Uh, Zap, Algira, Old, Insane against Nianto, Gramanto, Montor, Holly here, Bronzog, Skadeen. So the Skadeen is going to awaken in front of this Zapoera. Wait, is it? I'm just gonna eat this. Uh, 
lightning or helicopter. Oh. oh no, this is diamond dash. Wait, I forgot. It's physical. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. So we see, yeah, physical Skadeen as the Malzuri comes in on that diamond dash. Now, the double into oval as Grimantle comes in. Grimantle air comes in. Okay, so it's Grimantle air. Wait, did it show that? No, it. Wait, the team preview showed Grimantle whatever, and then. That's interesting. I don't know, it did that. My opponent isn't here? Nah. I mean, hey, you get, you get a free win. <laughs> Guys, Grimantle air is gonna have usage. <laughs> By the way, it gets foreign substance, because it's not a poison type. Uh, yeah, no. Gr I don't think anybody's used Grimantle air in this, like, tournament. Like, last tournament, or last cup plus this cup. Well, I mean, not over yet, but, you know. Payer versus Ender? Wait, is that the guy that's always in PvP chat? Yo, we see green Scorch on the field. Using that chemical cleave that gets rid of all those plus ones. Or, yeah. <laughs> well, the, the plus, the two plus ones. Three plus one. Where did you get the oh shifting? Yeah. I can actually battle and get some practice in true. All right. Well, I mean, Oring is completely fine with this. Jira just gets this kill, and like, you know, gets this much health back with refresh. So. Yeah, I mean, Air Grimantle, that is... I don't think I've... I'll be honest, I don't think I've seen one in my entire life. <laughs> like, I don't remember one time in any Scorch Cup that I've seen a... What's it called? Grimantle, uh... Grimantle Air. Why not go Zap? This just wins. This just killed the Grimantle. And, I mean, it gets all its health back. They go into, like... I don't know. This instant, I like this. No zap comes in on the scram pivot. Uh, yep, it does. Wait, if this is dead, wait. Every time Skiddy, or sorry, every time Zapoera gets on the field, it literally gets a kill. Unless Skiddy awakens in front of it, or I mean, this is neutral, isn't it? Is this basic insect, right? Like this is neutral, but that's not. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Th the one crit's all they needed to... Oh, never mind. Disarm. I mean, the riot shield. Oh, well. Thorns, bronze lock or something. Like, it's fine. Yeah. Zapower, I mean... I wouldn't have hit... I would have chipped this down enough, because then you guaranteed get a kill for everything. Like, this always dies. This always dies. This always dies. Or, like, it doesn't switch in, right? Like, I don't know. That's fine. Nianto's dead. They get to go... I mean, Owl comes in. I mean, that just invites Skadeen in. Kind of. Well, Montar, I guess. You know, Montar. I don't know they did go Skadeen in there. Oh, yeah, the burn, I guess. Nah, I guess... There, there was no point to... Because, like, this... Might live one, this also might live one, this one. Like, I don't know. This probably doesn't, because it's so range defensive. We see the Icy Slash, which, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, oh boy. <laughs> the perfect equipment spread, you guys, makes it live. They get to go back in a zap, so. Now Zapware kills something with Helicopter Kick. So. <laughs> So, um, yes. Zap forces a kill here. Oh, never mind, it's rip and it crit. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. <laughs> the Zapoera that literally won them the game just got crit by a rip current. <laughs> um. Well, that <laughs> that's something. I mean, offense, okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna pull up an image here. 
but this is a little more exciting than what's going on in the battle right now. Psycho Force did like nothing. Um, guys, 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 guys. Our favorite uh, game owner developer just dropped uh, an information. Huge skit. Who? Huge change. Changes to skins today. Now, like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. what is uh, what does this mean? Like, <laughs> what? What is? Is it like? Oh, how? How do you change? Like. What is cha like? How, I don't even understand. Like, if I could guess what would change, it's like I don't have any ideas. Like, maybe I they would never do this, but like you know, doodles have skins locked onto them. That's the only way I could see it being different. But hmm. I have no idea what this means. What do you guys think? What do you guys think the huge change to skins is gonna be? Give your mouse a head run. True. All right. Snow clone is on the field, except there's a bronze arc right there, so yeah. Skins give stat buff true. Guys, depending on your skin, it depends on which stat buffs you get. It's totally like equipment doesn't already do that. Okay, well this might be fire up, so... Oh, I guess it's... But win rate? Oh, yeah, no, I agree. I, I, I don't agree with them getting... Yeah, no, this, this is a whole topic before when it happened. Like, you, you, balance changes should not be based solely on win rate. That just seems silly. Like, absolutely nuking Grimantle just because it has the highest win rate is kind of silly in my opinion, but... Wait, just the no. I, I think. Wait, did it just get a scorch boost? Yo, it just got a. Did it? I think it got a scorch boost. It's a... Time to lurk me. Nuke Mulersa. True. Very real Mulersa. Scorch reference? Yes, indeed a scorch reference. Okay, well, Oval Sack, they get to go Mal, I guess. 67 win right this season. I mean, the thing with Mialarsa is it it's bulky to start, and with, um, what's it called? <laughs> with the move, with Honey Slap, you can literally make anything in the game weak to you, Weak to you and your priority, stab priority, besides like your garlic, and I get why the flashman, and I guess Grufflin A. Plus you take their stab. So like <laughs> whatever comes in loses their stab, becomes weak to you, and has to break something that has like three weaknesses and is 120 health. Plus it has negative one abilities on top of that. So, like, stand proud? Making something, br you should not be proud for making something broken. Anybody can do that. Like, you should stand proud when there's something balanced in the game. When you <laughs> they never thought me Larissa could make it out of this What? Who's the, <laughs> what? Okay, well, this game's not over. I mean, we do see Snow Clone come in. Food fight, quite a true. Wait, does Snow Clone just win? They get rid of this Diamond Dash, which I mean, doesn't. Yeah, they resisted anyways, so it doesn't even matter. Milosa will face a nuke. Hmm. Car and Wish after making Oasis power creep seem. Hmm. See, uh, this is why you hire Scorch SE as a pro PvP Doodle World balancer because- Okay, I'm just kidding. I don't- well, I don't know. I don't really know. 
Okay, they get to freeze! <laughs> oh, wait, it's not it's not freeze. It's, uh... They just cut their support moves, I forgot. Higher scores? Yes. True. Alright, well... I mean, Malzuri just kind of wins. So, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Guys, this Bronzog can no longer click Burning Orb without losing 20% of its health. I woke up. What's up, Vibes? I, uh, I, I saw you in round one. I don't know if you won the coin flip or not to make it to round two, but... Yeah. Oh, wait, you did! Wait, Vibes! Your round one opponent law or did check in as well, and you won the coin flip. <laughs> it was scripted, guys. I swear, it wasn't scripted. I... <laughs> guys, 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 it wasn't scripted. <laughs> I brought too much funny stuff. Hmm. RNG is a skill? I agree. Cure Jelly. Okay, here's a, here's, here's a discussion. Now, I mean, obviously the Malazari just wins now, but I want to talk about how he's Cure Jelly here. So, imagine a situate. Okay, I'm going to explain to you why a Wake Up Jelly is actually better, and I was wrong when I said it was at the last Doodle stream. I, uh, I forgot to take into account that, like, other statuses take up the... Say, okay, like, say, listen, say, say this Skadeen... Freeze freezes this Malzuri right now. They click Icy Slash for some reason. They freeze the Malzuri. Then that would use the Cure Jelly. And then when they click Rest, they're going to still be asleep because they don't have a Cure Jelly, right? And then you're stuck in sleep for three turns. But this, this, so, I, I thought that Cure Jelly was always better. But I was wrong. Because your, your Cure Jelly gets wasted up by whatever. If you get status that turn... And then you try to rest, but you already used your jelly that turn, and then, you know, you're in a bad spot for that. Or is it- is it just one- wait! Does it wake up- actually, no, yeah. You'll, um, doesn't- don't you- actually, actually, wait, no, you get the- You get jelly- like, jelly lives 100% and you'll get it the next turn, won't you? Is that how it works? If I'm asleep with no jelly, and I- Use my ability to get a wake up jelly. Does that work? I would assume so, right? There's no reason it wouldn't. Balling's dad forces him off the game. True. <laughs> but, anyways, we're gonna, um. Okay. Wait, it doesn't. Does anybody know Ender's username? Isn't it like something like this? Or did he change it? Is it just this? Nope. It's so, it's really long. That's all I know. Ender B drill or something? Uh. I want I want to hop into Ender's and in Oof's game, but I don't know the user here. And they didn't communicate that in in Star GG chat. The Ender B drill. Nope. I swear there's like a second in it. The Ender B drill B two. There. See, I knew there was something with two or second, but anyways, we're gonna hop into Oof Players and Ender Dinos game next. They are PS1, okay. Uh, I mean, it's fine because I know, but like, if Card and Tom, please don't use PSs, because like, yeah, I have to hunt you guys down. <laughs> I mean, here it's fine because Car told me, and I know now, but like, you know. All right. Oof player and Dino coming up next.
Wait, is it payer or player? Wait, it's payer. <laughs> One second, guys. Minor, minor spelling mistake. There we go. All right. I believe this is game one. So, okay, all right. I love the Arachniac right off the bat, I noticed, which is dead, but. We see Vermorph, Insin, Skidin, A against Bio, Ruptorbin. So, uh, I think Oof Pair just wins. No, Oof Pair literally just wins. Check devlog. There are a lot of skins in the game introducing vintage skins. Bruh. Is this it? Wait, they just made a new category of skins. How many more round ones? There's... Five people currently competing in round one. So like, oh wait, they're Awakening skins. Wait, he just not said that. Wait, Vintage skins apply to Awakens? Why would you not use a Vintage skin then, what? Oh, oh, <laughs> wait, oh, I was gonna say, bro, you're literally like, <laughs> you even literally know this stuff. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's just dumb. What, why would you not use a vintage skin then, if that was the actual case? Wait, so... They just added a new category of skins. I, I'm abusing my power to troll? See, car. this is where you abuse your power to get me in the team. Let's be honest. It's pot no. Can't believe- yeah, exactly. Guys, let's get Car out of here and replace him with, uh, Ender Dino. I think Ender Dino would be a good balance here. But yeah, no, I mean, they, they just, yeah. <laughs> How to see what's old? Is it like after a, an entire year? Of <laughs> replace car with truck. <laughs> car, bro. You get out, get, the, get this car guy out of here. Let's replace him with truck. <laughs> Truck's the best balancer, you guys. I want truck as the new balancer. Car is not, is a, uh, is not fit in the category. He, car's a bad balancer. We need truck in there. <laughs> Every skin of a doodle besides the three newest huntable skins will be retired becoming vintage not being able to chain or gotten through the roulette. Wait. So skins are temp like they're sees like they're limited time. So as they add new skins, the other skins leave. Wait, scribble prestigious premiums and CCs will always be attainable. Because there are many skins that people can encounter where you're disabling the ability. Okay, so... From now on, you can only encounter the three newest skins of each doodle. That's, uh... That, that... So, like, everything is... Impossible to get? That has not, like... Bro, wait, that's terrible. Wait, no, that's actually terrible. Wait! You, you can you can't get any skins in the game except for the three newest ones of the doodle yeah now you're just hmm I, I don't like that I, I, I'm not even a trader or hunter I don't really whatever but that that just feels wrong like so if I say okay look say I want let's go let Something chainable. Niblin. This is removing it. Say, say I want to hunt for B. I, I don't have B Mothra. I really want to be Mothra. I can literally never get it in my entire life. I have to trade for it. So only the ones that are currently existing now are the, like I have to I have to trade for it, right? The only ones that'll be in the thing are these three. So you can never get Chimera again. You can never get Spider again. You can never get B again. You can never get Fluffy again. They're never going to be in the game for the eternity of the game. Like, that... I don't like that. Literally everything's exclusive now. Like, everything's on a timer, basically. Do 
Deactivate skins useless in making dude as you can't hunt impossible. Mm, yeah, pretty much. Like, look at all that. Like, you're never going to be able to get dogfish. Chompy, this one. Blobfish, this one. This one. This one. This one. Like, well, I guess Halloween's limited time. But, like, wait, why is this in the... This should be in the events thing, I just realized. But, I mean, it does add value. But, like, everything's limited time. So, it's not going to make it... Like, it technically adds value. But, like... Yeah. When a new huntable skin is added, the oldest will become vintage. That makes sense. So say it's like, say it's these three. As a new one's added, Prism would just like disappear. Or like get out of, you know, like get kicked out or whatever. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of the change. I do agree that it does get rid of like, like how many, like there is a lot of skins. So it's going to get rid of that. But still, like it, it adds a timer and everything. People that want a specific skin aren't going to be able to get it. It's going to be a pain to... Like, and some people... Listen, it's it's not like, oh, Scorch, you can just go in PvP... Or in, not PvP. You can go in uh, Wish Z's server and just go in trade list. It. Bro, not everybody has access to that. Think of, think of a player who... Say they're under the age of 13 and they can't get Discord. Or they just can't get Discord for whatever reason. Maybe it's not their age. Maybe they're just not allowed or they can't... Like, you know... They can't get Discord. And they want to get a skin that is not in the game. They have to trade for that skin. How are they going to get that skin? Like, they're going to have to go to Social Park, spam, anybody have this skin? Anybody have this skin? And Social Park's not even, like, trade exclusive. Like, in Lumen Legacy, sure, it's different because Trade Resort, it's literally just trading. In Social Park, it's literally everybody goes there. There's people queuing into ranks there's people battling there's people just buying stuff there not everybody there's a trader there's no like hotspot for people to trade besides the server which not everybody can get discord right so if i'm a player who's just like casual and like oh you know i, I want to get a b nibblin i missed out on that I, I didn't get the b nibblin and you know i'm trying to trade for one for my mothra they're gonna have to go in social park servers go in social park servers go in social park servers and like spam looking for this skin and, like, half the people aren't even going to be trading in Social Park. Half the people might even have the skin. And who says they want to trade the skin? Like, what's the point to get, like, B Mothra is worth nothing, right? Someone just likes this, like, maybe I have, like, if I, if I was, you know, just in Social Park's XP training. That, that's another thing. So many people are XP training there or hunting stuff. Say I'm just in there and I just have a B Mothra skin. Why would I want to trade it to that guy, right? Like, there's no reason for me to do that. Unless we're, like, skin swapping, which is, like, an impossible thing to coordinate if you're, you know, if you don't have Discord and you can't, you know, reach out to people like that. And, I mean, it does add value on, like, everything, though. And there will be, like, a certain number of skins. That is something that I, it is kind of cool that I do like, like... Something I do like out of this, like, we're talking negative, but, like, positives, I do like that everything will have value, though. Like, although I don't trade, like, everything, there will only be a certain amount of them, right? Like, I remember when I would play, like, simulators years ago, like, four years ago, I'd play simulators. And there would be, like, only 100 of these pets exist, so it's worth this much value, and, you know, it's worth this. Like, it's, you know, it'll add an actual value, but, like, there's millions of these skins, I guess. Like, how many B Mothra skins are in the game right now? <laughs> Probably over a thousand, at least, right? But yeah, I mean, that's that's my whole thought on the, the change. What do you guys think? How, how do you guys feel about, uh, about this? Wait, yes, yeah, skin, yeah. Skin makers, do we make this skin we can't get? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't think, I, I don't want, I, I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll, um, I'm ready to be corrected, but I, I don't feel that, I don't feel that people are liking this change based on the recent, you know, interaction in chat right now, and if you just look in the Wish Z server, 
there's um yeah say say no to vent bro people are literally spamming in every s <laughs> bro there's literally people spamming in the discord I don't think people like this change. Something tells me people don't like this change. <laughs> Something tells me people don't like this change. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna engage in that. I'm gonna focus on Doodle Cup 17, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, wait, I'll, I'll read up. I was, yeah. See, the version from it'll make people hunt the skin, which people don't really change skins apart from events. I only ever hunt one regular skin. I mean, I, I just don't, I just, it's, it's just on a timer. I don't like the fact that it's on a timer. Like, gosh, they're all spamming. It does add value, but it just, the main issue is, like, people that want a specific skin are never going to be able to get the skin. The point of skins is not to have every one of them. The point is to, you know, it's it's an ad, it's to add, like, cause, like, something to customize, right? So, like, it's not like everybody hunts for every skin to have every skin. Everybody hunts for the skins they want and use the skins they want, right? Like, it's like, it's like tints, I guess. Like... Not everybody gets every tint. They get the tint that looks the coolest, or the one they get first. That, that I guess tint's not a good example because they're super. They're much more rare. But like, you get what I mean, right? Like you can't use. You don't. Not every like unless you're like a big fan of the doodle. Nobody is going to have every skin for every doodle. They're going to have their favorite skin for every doodle and stick with that one skin. If they have their favorite skin, they're not going to get every every other skin. But yeah, no, it's, um, I mean, it's not that it'll make people, like, okay, you, you might think people are going to hunt for skins now, but it's like, they're not even worth value. Like, no, but it does, there's so many of them, right? It's not like a missed hit, right? Like, say, say, like, right now, everybody's like, yo, I gotta get this new skin because it's about to leave, like, there's already going to be a thousand that already exists like that. And it's not going to, it's going to have value, but it's not going to have high value. And it's going to end up in a situation where every skin is just worth every skin. It's just a minor inconvenience, or a major inconvenience that, you know, you have to trade for them rather than you can just hunt it yourself. Especially for, yeah, people that cannot use the Discord. Which predicted the vintage glovey trip? But newer players come and don't have it. exactly though. That's that's locking out newer players. Okay, uh, is this? Are we hopping into round two here? What's going on? Look at general. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. We are playing. Wait, what? Okay, well this is um <laughs> What is happening? Uh Yeah, what the heck is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is happening? <laughs> okay, we're gonna not give that attention. We are playing. Do you have your spectate on? Ev Bro, they're in APS and they also don't have their spectate on. Please. <laughs> Did they release the update? No, they just talked about it. No, everybody's going crazy. What? Why is this? Okay, we'll rejoin, I guess. 
I don't know what's happening here. Our discussion is the only one somewhat normal. There's, there's normal conversation in the server right now? Bro, it's just like... Wait, oof is Penny was? Wait, what? This is them? I didn't know this was your... Okay, well, there's Ender now. I didn't know that was their username. I did not know that was them. Alright. You told me? Where? Oh, I, I missed that. I'm sorry. I was too distracted by the... <laughs> the vintage skins. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna move on from that. I don't know what Wish is gonna do with the change, but um, yeah, people don't seem to be a fan of it, so it might might be reverted, might not. I don't know. Anyways, we yeah we see Aristotle here. The sniper scope and he misses. <laughs> okay, Diamond Tash picks up the kill. What is this? Insin, Milursa, I mean Vermarth, yeah. Vermarth comes in. So when there's a clang attack there. Let it happen, I wanna riot. See, I I do agree with, you know, people sharing their opinions, but guys, look, come on. We don't have to spam the server. <laughs> like, I, I think they understand I guarantee you right now. Wish has seen what is the reaction is and is currently trying to either adjust it or change it or cancel. Like, they're obviously working on it based on the recent reaction. Continuing to spam is not doing anything. It's just like, yeah. Just, just let them, let them cook. Let them, let them, obviously the idea was it likes. Oh my gosh, that is a dead Miller set. Let, let them, let them, you know, adjust or change, whatever. And yeah, let's focus on Scorch Cup. But let's, uh, <laughs> smooth transition. <laughs> what was bro thinking? It does feel like... Wait. If you could trade a newer skin for an old one? I don't know. In my opinion, it just seems too late. Like... Duna World has been like this for two years. It, it just feels... If if the game was introduced this way, then maybe it would be okay because the game would be like that. It'd probably be like that forever, but... That is also... quite Yeah, this game's over. Ender just wins. Literally just wins. This is over. I just, I just feel like it, you can't make a change like this anymore. At least not, not so suddenly. Maybe slowly adjusting to the change, like... Hey guys, soon we're gonna be introducing this. Make sure to get out, like, you know, not not obviously saying it like that, but giving it some kind of warning so people can get all the skins they want before the change is changed. That doesn't make sense. You know what I mean, right? That's the only way that, like, you know, they just ran, like, Wish just randomly dropped a bomb. Like, just out of nowhere. I hasn't talking for an entire week. Then he's like, guys, we're introducing vintage skins. You can no longer get any of the skins except for the newest. Like, it just feels too sudden and too unexpected, right? Like, the game's been like this for two years. It's it's hard to make a big change like this without backlash, right? I mean, the only way, if you want to do it, is just slowly easing into it by, like, you know... I don't know, maybe even introducing it with... I mean, as an op... Well, like, with content, I mean, like... There's a, there's a reason behind it, right? Besides just, like, you know, them wanting to do it. It's like, oh, an Icy Ridge, there's this that happens, which cause... I guess, but then newer players would still... I don't know. I just feel like they could tie it better into, like, you know, or slightly sm ease their way into it, right? Like, I understand why people are upset, because, you know, now they're, like, stressed out. Like, yo, I gotta get the skin before it leaves, because I'm never gonna be able to get it again when, like, you know, they thought they could get it for eternity, right? Just too sudden, I suppose. I, I, I meant like they, they could have. I would say like it tied it into the lore somehow, but they can't really do that because. Yeah, no, it's, it has to be for the entire game, not just like past Icy Ridge, right? 
I'm like, oh, maybe an icy rage is like a uh, something that happens that causes you know this to, you know, skins to whatever. But no, that's yeah. What's up, Avonic? How's it going? Anyways, yeah, no, Ender. Wait, did the game just? Okay, there. All right, they went. <laughs> I was gonna say, what just happened? All right. Ender and Oof Pair are tied 1-1, hopping into game three very shortly. I also feel like if they're gonna make a change like this, then there needs to be a better way for people to trade, right? Like, people that don't have Discord, trading sucks, right? Like, you, where are you... Say I'm say I'm just a casual player in the game. I want to trade with people. Where am I? Like, I spam social park server. Social parks aren't even, you know, trade exclusive, right? There's like people hunting. There's people PVP and queuing to rank there. There's, you know. Where would I make a skin that I'm forced to hunt can constantly to get? Orb instead of other things. That's what I mean. Like skins, skins have always just been something that's like just like open to everybody. You can get every skin you can cut. Like if you want a skin, you can hunt. Not specifically, but pretty much specifically for that skin, right? Knight knows that he has skins in the game, but you have like. If you make a skin in the game, like for me even, like I, I like that I have a skin in the game, but if it becomes like a limited time thing, it's like, oh, the Scorch skin's gonna disappear in whatever months, then like, that's just kind of like, you know, it's, it's only there for a limited time. It's kind of meh, you know? I know they don't, I know they don't, but say it was my own skin. CCs are obviously gonna be around forever, but. You should watch my next time. I mean, I could. Are you hopping in it now? Might as well. Forgot to check my set. Yeah, I don't know. I am. Um, I, I know it's. I have nothing to do with it, but just from. Oh, wait, you're not even here. Oh. Never mind. I guess we're going back. I don't want to, like, join the whole, you know, spam train of, you know, whatever they're saying. But, like, I do feel that just dropping an idea like this, like, dro dropping such a big change so suddenly just wasn't a good idea. And I don't think, like, just from, like, what it seems to be the case, I don't know if, like, was this discussed? Because I haven't seen one per- I I'll be honest, I haven't seen one person- that is for this change. Obviously, it's Wish's game. He can do what he wants. But, like... It just feels like he made the decision himself and then just dropped it, right? Like, it doesn't feel like this was discussed between the team. And, you know, things were considered, but... I don't know. Okay, why isn't this... Give me a sec. Is this gonna let me join? Please? Making sure people wouldn't move? Wait, what? Trolling everyone in bait- wait, who is that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Okay, I, we're gonna watch- uh, we're gonna watch game three here, because I don't know where any of the battles are. We are already, you know, pretty much into it. But yeah, no, we're gonna- we're, we're gonna move away from the whole skin thing and, like, focus on the actual tournament, because that's why we're here. But yeah, wait, what's the point of a- Sorry, I literally say that and now I'm gonna talk about it more. What, what are event doodles then? Event doodle skins. Isn't everything an event skin now? Like, literally every skin is limited time. So... Yeah. I don't know, I just feel that this idea wasn't... You know disgust and what's the word possibility to like they didn't consider how people would feel about this because like oh I see I, I just see them right now 
All right, I see the, I see the car. I literally just went in PVP chat and saw it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Reverse your sins, give us our skins. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that rhymes, too. Anyways, though. We're gonna we're gonna hop in around three soon. I got muted. I mean I, that was expected if you're spamming. I mean I would just stop you guys. There's no need to like. They obviously understand the change isn't liked. They're de definitely working on it. Just let them be, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I've said my thoughts. I just, you know, I feel it was way too sudden. I feel like it wasn't. I don't know. I don't know the correct words to put to it. But I just feel like they didn't. I don't want to say they didn't think enough. Like, it wasn't discussed and, you know, introduced properly. But anyways, we're gonna hop into game three very soon. Trading vintage B Mothra for a star sticker? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, thought out, thought out. Yeah, game three out of five. No, no, no. It's it's best of threes all the way through. This is we have this match and we have radios. Nope, it's just this match. Once once this round, once this game three is done, then that's gonna be it for round one. Yeah, I I just feel it wasn't discussed and thought up like i feel like the, the idea could have been introduced better first off rather than so suddenly and like you know discussed more into detail like oh people might feel this how can we prevent them from feeling upset because this oh maybe we add this so they're given a certain period of time to get all the skins they want before we introduce it and say we like you know like have ha like no, ha have a better approach to it and then, you know, approach it to the community better. Rather than just like, after a week of nothing, after a month of us waiting for Icy Ridge, just suddenly saying, guys, all skins are events. You're never gonna be able to get these skins again. See you soon in the update. Like, obviously that's not gonna be, you know, red. Like, no, people, I, I, I feel like people have deserved to be, or deserve to feel upset, right? Like, this, this game's been the same for two years. And it's just so suddenly, out of nowhere, change like this. And I do see some flaws, like, everything's an event skin, why are there still event skins? Like, you know. The vintage skins idea is mine. Hmm. They should start making doodles vint. See, um, this is why Wish Z should hire Scorch SE, and I can help. No, I'm just kidding. Unless I'm not. Anyways, though, we're gonna we're gonna hop in game three soon, shortly. Whenever they're ready. The Doodle World take another L. They introduce vintage skins, which people are not a fan of. Light hook should not go before shot. I mean, it depends on the speed. They're both plus one, right? Dudo World subscription with Roblox. Hmm. Alright guys, it looks like they're ready to rumble. Unhappy is an understatement, I suppose. I suppose. They are extremely unhappy. Nah. In my opinion, guys, just just let it be. I, I know you guys are upset, but just they obviously understand that people are upset, so just give them some time and I'm sure they'll, you know, work on something. Are, isn't... 
no light? Wait. Wait, no, light hook should, yeah. Wait, isn't it? Is it plus one, though? Okay, wait, hold on. There we go. Wait, isn't light hook just plus one? Like, if something's faster and it uses a priority move on something slower that uses light hook, the priority, yeah. It's plus one, yeah, so that makes sense. Secrian sack. Okay, well. I mean. Ender right off the bat sacks the gargo for incense. Yeah, diamond dash, yeah. And flashbang, I suppose, but yeah. You know, it's plus one, so that, that makes sense, because. Yeah, no, if something's fast. Yeah, that, that's how Sucker Punch works, doesn't it? In Pokemon? If something's also uses priority but is faster, then it'll go first. Because they're both, you know, whatever, and then it bases off the speed. Anyways, we see Craggle Day Awaken here. War crying up. Which, I mean, this has to pivot off and, you know. Oh my gosh, pivot off and it does 2 million damage. Oh my. <gasps> okay. <laughs> That's a lot. Now. Yeah, Draco Thread's here. The idea will be approved upon for sure. Like. He, he hears. Like. Which isn't stupid, right? Like, he sees you guys upset. Obviously, the ID is going to be worked on. There's no need to continue, you know, spamming and has Like, obviously, he knows everyone's upset. I'm sure he's working on it as we speak. Just, you know, don't worry about that. And just, you know, let them cook. Anyways, we see Seraphim here. Now... I mean, there's a Bionautic, there's a Aristal, which is weak to never mind, there's a Bionautic. But I want to watch Scorch Cup? Yeah, see you guys, just focus on Scorch Cup. Don't, don't worry about, don't worry about what's happening in, in Wish Z. Obviously, they're working on it. Let's focus up on what, what, what we're here for, right? We're here, we're here for Scorch Cup. But yeah, I mean, Bio does just awakened as... Or so, or Vermorth. Wait, Vermorth just hits it. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Both stabs from Vermorth hit it super effective there. Lower the slow mo for submitting teams? What is it? Oh, uh, okay. This, I mean, this is weak to water, no? Storm here goes up. What, what even is the cooldown? One minute. Why, why do you need to. One minute's fine, what? I don't want to wait one minute to spit my game two team. Oh, you're doing them all at once. I mean, that's just pre to prevent people from spamming them. I think, I think waiting one minute's fine. <laughs> it's, it's 60 seconds, bro, it's fine. Alright, Tsunami does half. Honey Slaps also does half. And now it can quick sting this. So, I mean... Realistic kills it. Sonny, you literally submitted a game one team twice. <laughs> like, wait, you literally submitted a game. Bruh. <laughs> You're asking me to lower the cooldown as you just submitted a game one team twice. See, I get- So, you waited the entire minute and then did it wrong, but you want- Bro, the minute's there so you can read all- Like, it's, it forces you to read over what you've done and, like, take the time to write out the team instead of, just, you know, spamming it, which you- Yeah. Bro. Okay, wait, what is happening? Uh, you, you submit your team in the team submission. 
channel. Okay, anyways though, I mean looking at teams, we literally have not commented at all this entire day because we've been so taken by the skins and all this, but anyways. We, yeah, no, we see Aristotle here, which, I mean, you know, this doesn't really do anything to this. So this can get free momentum off of the Jinglark. I mean, they have Vermorth to hit this. They have Seraphon, I guess, can hit this. In the Scorch server? What's happening in the Scorch server? Okay, hold up. Is this going to take a hit and run and die? Yep. Oh, yeah, no, you, you need the Doodle Cup roll. I assume you have that. Wait, so, I guess I'll delete one of these, bro. Yeah, I, I don't know what's happening. Okay, wait. Wait, why is... Bruh, wait, hold up. How do we... Alright, okay, I don't, sorry, I'm trying to do something. Setting up, it's true. Okay, we, uh, you yeah, know, we have Bio here in front of this Seraphin, which, I mean, uh, I don't think it can break through this unless it has, it doesn't have any green arrow on this, no. They just double into Vermorth right now as Ender Heals, probably. Or Jinglark, even, yeah, it's, Jinglark is also fun. I mean, I guess you don't invite Clang in, so there's that. Uh, Part two is canceled? What? What am I being pinged for? What is happening? But Easter part two? I mean, Wish called the first part Easter part one, so I'm assuming there's a part two. Or it just would have been the Easter. Up. I mean, Easter was also like three weeks ago, but <laughs> I don't know. Alright, well, I mean, this literally just pivots off for free. Reflective shard. What even is a reflective shard? Crits with the life sap. This pivots and crits. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. We see Draco Thread on the field. Now, I mean, Draco Thread just kills something here, right? It just kills this Jinglark, probably. Give this shard to Doodle to have attacks miss 10% more often. What the heck? Bro, what? <laughs> uh, I, I didn't even know that existed. Alright, Aristotle's here, or Aristotle, well yeah, Aristotle's in my hair, but Vermorth is here, now, 
I mean, there's a Clang Atang. I don't think Oof player can get out of this. Like, Diamond Dash, yeah. Okay, it's Diamond Dash. <laughs> Diamond Dash, Aristal picks up the kill. <laughs> Seraphin's gonna take this. <laughs> Alright. And then, yeah, I mean, Ender's got this in the bag. It, it's Seraphin against the world, and, like, you know, there's a Bionautic. There's a... That even lives. Okay, nice. <laughs> Aristotle's gonna kill this Seraphin. It's gonna take a long time, but it is eventually gonna happen. I'm not putting this idea in the game as it is. Your feedback is valued. The idea will be improved upon, says Wish. See? Exactly. <laughs> He understands you guys. This, yeah. The whole vintage skin thing, it'll change. Hopefully. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't, right? Like. <laughs> didn't lose 2 0. True. Ended and yes, so Ender has won 2 1 against Oof Pair. So we are going to be hopping into game, th sorry, round two. Yeah, very shortly. So yeah, let me, uh, let me change this. Right, I'll get rid of this. Around two happen. All right, I'm gonna open registration for round two, and yeah, we'll hop right into it. I don't have the Doodle Cup role, and I connected my Discord. the The roles in self roles that'll give you access to all the tournament stuff. But yeah, we're gonna hop right into it right here. All right. Seven. I believe it, you know, it's said in the in the information to get the roll, because you do need it to submit your team, you do need it to, you know, get pinged for, you know, all that stuff. Here's the idea, I came up with to improve the idea, two vintage skins per doodle every week will become huntable, changing every week automagically. You'll be able to purchase vintage skins with a doodle PD with gems, if you don't want to wait for it's huntable, we can come around. I guess, I don't know. I mean, it's already like. I mean, that is a better. Uh, yes, it, better for sure. But I mean, for me, it's kind of whatever. Like, it doesn't really change much, right? Like, you still have to wait. It just, uh, it just forces people to wait, basically. Like, there's no bet. Like, there's no value to them because everything's gonna be equal now. It just forces people to wait around. Like, the only thing that's changing is people have to wait, rather than. You know, at least with the old change that was value to them. Now it's just you know. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna focus on focus on scoring. Yes, round two should be opening very shortly. We'll have to see when it should start. GG just gotta process it, which should be yeah. Should uh should be happening shortly. All right, there we go. Round two check-ins are opened. We're hopping into round two right away. That's the PS, I mean, Ender fighting. Oh, oops. I just went to Scorch PS, because I don't know. 
that's just, but anyway. That's like habit, I guess. What do I point in the format? Whatever game number it is. So everything's best of three. So like, it's round two, and also it'll be round two, game one. Your next match will be round two, game two, etc. Rounds are like, you know, you play a new person every round, games are like, new game or whatever. Anyways, though, yeah, I need a ping because I'm literally behind. I'm gonna extend that because I'm literally. This should be 10 minutes after I ping. <laughs> um... Alright. Round 2 check. Round 2 check is now open. Submit your teams and start your battle. Everyone is in this round, and yeah. We're gonna hop right into it. The war is not over. Well, I, I'm not. I'm not watching. I'm, I'm, we're too distracted. We're not watching the war. We're gonna watch the Scorch Cup battles. <laughs> I don't know what we're fighting for here. Obviously, he knows you guys don't like the change, so he's going to do something about it, as he said. Like, I don't know what we're fighting for here by just spamming in the server. Like, obviously, they know you guys don't like the change. Continuing to spam is not going to change anything. But anyways, we're going to hop back into the PS we were in, and we're going to watch Card Ender face off in round two here. Because, yes. I just woke up and I gotta build a team. Bro, round two's happening right now. <laughs> Alright, they're already into it. Round two, we have... Not that. We have Car versus Ender. Or Ender versus Car. Alright, there we go. We see Grufflin A, it looks like, with base Dalligan, Diamond Dash, Male. Instant Aristotle Monitor, and then Mercenus. Hitting this with a Shining, whatever it's called, so the heal's cut in half, which doesn't even matter, but... And then, yeah, Ender pivots into... We see an Arachniac, which... Oh, I love I love Arachniac for no reason, but... There's a Grufflet that's, you know, fast air type that can, you know, hit it, whatever. This is Diamond Dash 2. Rip Torben, Aristotle, Bio A, Clang Drink, I've already saw this team before. Terrace Assault does almost half to this Aerostall. So, yeah, I mean... Spool. Yeah. I mean, it is a roll. I mean, if that was a low roll, they might kill it, but I mean... You're probably not risking that, right? Yeah, Vile comes in. For free. I mean, this is just gonna... Yeah. They heal. Ender gets to Awaken, and... I mean, this has to come in. Montar, I was like, yes, but like, 45% is a Montar. They need to get Grufflin A in here, which I mean, they don't really want to hard swap it. Well, actually, they can. This is, becomes like 90 something speed. They just pivot out last. Psycho Force, though, taking that. They taunt. Wait. They taunt the. Bionautic for some reason. Um, Alright, we see Merciless on the Psycho Force. Which does not break, actually. So, I mean, yeah. Shining on the Rip Torvent. I just realized that said can't heal anymore, and it's, you know, it just caps it. <laughs> They didn't change the text, like, oh, it weakens healing, it's, you know. Alright, that also gets hit by a shining... What, what is it called? Serverins or something? I mean, Aerosol just gets to pivot here. They either get this kill or they get the, you know, momentum off of this, so yeah. Cargo's their own Aerostall, which does get a plus one, but I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, it's gonna die anyways. Car or car. Ender just. I mean, they can go. 
Yeah, anything they want. This is obviously gonna break. They take floaty, which I mean... I guess Grufflin with an air move, but it's never cracking that. We see the instant coming on a Tsunami! So Car predicts the Psycho Force, but it's Tsunami, which I mean... I don't see why they wouldn't click Tsunami in that situation. They always click- they were always killing the air, so they might as well, right? So instant takes that for no reason. Mercenus dies to the Tsunami, because, you know, it's low enough. And yeah, we see Grufflin A come in. So, guaranteed takeout coming here. Ender can react by going air stall, but I mean, it does get to awaken here. Around two point, it might not even show up. Yo. I mean, this is a tint with a alt rune stone. I oh, oh, neutral I guess, yeah. They, they guarantee quick enough food move there. So yeah, Neutron Drain, the hint run goes up. Do they get electrocuted? They do not. It's pretty risky, to be honest. They have five minutes? Yes. Alright, we see Stalag in here. It, uh, it, it says in your set, Damien. Like, you, you know, you, you just go in here, like, where you checked in, and I'll show you your opponent is. It's all there. What's up, Fujin? How's it going? Alright, Iron Slash goes up. I mean... Feast. This Clang just wastes this Grufflin's Feast, to be honest. Like, eventually they're gonna crit, eventually they're gonna vulnerable. Like, this is a losing battle for Car. They're just, you know, losing Feast. Potentially getting crit, potentially getting vulnerable. Transcendent power is just like crystal stab, isn't it? I think it's 90 base power. What's up, Red? How's it going? Roger SE, true. I got aired? What? I just said hi to you. But yeah, I mean, Arachniac does just kind of nuke something now. Like, where's the mandible swap? And this is dead. A bee so <laughs> Arachniac sets up bees. Okay. And they heal. Defensive Arachniac is real, you guys. Defensive Arachniac is somehow real. Alright. But, like, Aerostall heals. It... They set bees again after they just got removed. So, they're letting this heal to get bees up. I mean, these bees are gonna matter. But they're gone again. Why? Bro, what? <laughs> they want the bees that bad that they're gonna... Bruh. What is happening? <laughs> They're ready to sack or lose Arachniac to a hit and run just so they can have bees up. They double here into the Bionotic. Oh, they're gonna- Oh, they taunt him, man. I was gonna say, they're gonna take the floaty and then, like, get the plus one with the floaty. Okay, well, the bees are gone. Psycho Force is gonna hurt kills. Gets the defense drop for no reason. Which is like 15%. So yeah, make look at the health. It's whatever. But <laughs> Hit and run, giving it the plus one. Which, I mean, Grufflin A does just have a food move. So it's like, you know. I don't think it means anything. <laughs> no, it doesn't mean anything. Wait, but don't they just always Tsunami here? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> well... Grufflin A is dead. <laughs> I think this game might be over. Something tells me this game might be over. 
Yeah, they're going to press the forfeit button. Ender is going to take game one there over Carr, so... Fail. Fail. There. <laughs> Ignore that. That did not just happen. But yeah, Ender wins game one. Alright, what other matches do we have going on? Half and Ominous is probably it. Alright, they're in Scorch Pants. We're gonna hop in at Hats and Ominous' game here. Looks like my round two opponent didn't show up either. <laughs> Yo, you didn't even have to show up. That's crazy. But well, I mean, you have to check in. Like, you know, didn't have to battle. All right, we got Hats and Ominous here. Oh, wrong one. Okay, Vidja drops out the goo glass. We have a blue bungo versus purple bungo here. Lightman goes up, Siphon Soul goes up. Crits, okay. You checked him as not showing up. Did you, are you communicating in the chat there? When both people check in, you communicated this. Yeah, they, they, that. Damien, he's he's talking in the chat there. So you gotta communicate in the Star GG chat. Okay, but what happened to change it so like he did check in? I mean, I can't force check in people if they're not here, then they're not here, right? Anyways, we see Bungo be Bungo, which I mean, wait, Ominous just wins. I just looked at the team. Wait, Ominous. Just Oh, is that you communicating? No, that's, that's them. Where you checked in. Yeah, no, Bongo, like... Ominous just wins this. There's literally no way they lose, because, like... They trade bungos and then it's just Fumasu against everything, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> Determination Jelly. So they have another life. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, but the burn. Wait, it was burned. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Yeah, I mean, Ominous just wins this game. There's, there's no point even watching the end of it. We know what's going to happen. This match going on. Who's this? A Wumbo and... Wang. Oh, the game just ended. Oh, Wang wins. Got it. <laughs> Alright, let's hop in another match. We have Ice and Vibes are currently at one uh, one nothing in Ice's favor. Get up on that match. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna hop. We'll hop in Vibes' this game here. And yeah, watch the game too there. Tablet died turn two? <laughs> Bruh, that sucks.
Alright. We got Var oops. Alright, we got Vibes versus Ice here. Ice is up one nothing. Alright, we'll be hopping into game two very shortly here. Uh, we might as well watch this. Oring and Rain. <laughs> Wait, Vibes, let me know when you're, when you're in your game two. Actually, we could just watch this. I mean, what, 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 what game is this? There's no point. We might as well just watch this full game. Then hop in there is after. Is this game one? I think this is game one. against rain here. It's pronounced vibes, yep. <laughs> Did I am I the only one who used moss? I mean not many people use moss, so probably <laughs> that would make sense. Alright, we see Seam Stis come in here. On the Bionotic, which I mean, you know, is great for them. They're forced into Incense, which probably wakes up, but it's going to take a lot. That is not a lot. Oh, it's resistive, I forgot. Wait, that obviously does nothing. Oh, wait, that was a rest sleep. Alright. So this instant previously rested to put it to sleep. So it has, at the most, two turns of sleep left, maybe one. I don't know how long this is going to sleep, but yeah. All right, instant wakes up now, putting out the chaotic bolt, which does not, just barely not half. Yeah, I mean, screen's here. Bile's probably forced in. Actually, double. Into the Meal Ursa as Bile comes in. So, yeah. Wait. Trait sto- Wait, what? Wait! Guys! Did you just see that? The Meal Ursa just used its ability Trait Stolen. Wait. What just happened? The pop-up said the ability was called, or the trait was called Trait Stolen. Because <laughs> it's like... Wait, it worked. The bio took it, but it still worked and called it Trait Stolen. I That's in interesting. <laughs> Anyways, Mielarsa does drop there to the bio. Seamstress is here, and Instant does kind of just answer it, so yeah. the days which I mean yeah and had all the Vermorph checks in the world physical seam I mean it's just mixed like most of them are I think like Aren't they all mixed? Or limited? Like lots of them are mixed, right? Like that's not a that's a common thing, right? But yeah, I mean, if you mask is burn, it's dead now. And I mean, yeah, no. Oring has this in the bag. I, I don't think there's any way Oring loses this, so we're gonna hop into another match. We're going to watch this one. Oh, bruh.
bro to not read the rules about setting this to everyone so I can watch. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, so it is... Well, I mean, this was after the score of the last game, but... It is one nothing for Ice here. This is game two. Ice is, you know, winning, obviously. Oh, I mixed that up. Ice against Vibes here, so yeah, I mean we Sarah instant snow clone. Why there's a second snow clone we've seen today? Spectatic, Reptorum, and Frigale against Hatrix A, Insin, Mealursa, Scarfox, Malzuri, and Fumasi, which is dead. Hatrix Awakened is interesting. <laughs> I mean, there's a Spec Awakened question mark against it, so that's uh, you know funny how. Two very oh and it's dead anyway, it's very current nice. Anyways, we do see Milarsa come in here on the you know, on the Seraphim, which I mean Seraphim has a green arrow on it, so actually wait, it has a green arrow on everything. Wait, literally, Seraphim kills this, this, well, hits this, this, this. It collects the steel move on this. So, like, wasn't it neutral, though? It has days. Anyways, Honey Slap on the Riptorvin. So, I mean, Quick Sting's definitely not enough. They just get to Pharaoh and kill. So, like, Vibes is forced into, like, Scar or Instant, probably. Literally instant house to come in here. Yeah. Instant does on the Pharaoh doing nothing. Now, that could have been a... I mean, I say that Ice could have doubled there for free, but they are in a good spot. If they just play safe, they pretty much win. Like, there's no point to, you know... Yeah. But anyways, I mean... What do they go into? I mean, they have their own incident and then it becomes a, you know, crit war, which they don't want to do. They have Seraphim, which is neutral to fire. They don't actually have, like, fi I mean, this, this, actually, this spec. Oh, they double into Scarfox as the instant comes in. Okay, so they did go instant. Vibes doubles into Scarfox, making a play, and now they are given the opportunity to landslide here. Now, this Scarfox, if it is clutch, which it probably is, then it is neutral to fire. If it's for code, it's quad or it's weak, and then it's dead. But you know, I'm assuming this is Clutch Scar Fox. So yeah, I mean, this does live. Well, it lives it naturally, anyways. So it, yeah, they always get to landslide here, and they do hit the Spectatic. So the Spectatic will die if they do hit this again. Which I mean, Ice, Ice and Crystal is neutral. Yeah, so they can just icy hit this and kill it probably. So yeah, well yeah, they can. Obviously they can. So yeah, Scarfox does pick up this kill, which is I mean, oh it's wait, how much defense does this get? They ha they might have had to land side. I don't know how I forget how much this gets. It might get enough defense to live that, so that that might have been the play actually. But they lose exoskeleton, so like 195 to 135. They needed to landslide for sure, probably. <laughs> they lose EXO, but they get more than 30%. Yeah, that's... Anyways. We, uh... Why does Scarfox go crazy, actually? Hold up, wait. For Gale's here... That's a weird skin. For Gale's here, but... I mean... They have instant, I guess. I lost because I forgot Soul Link traps, bruh. Are you not a balance or what? <laughs> what? Do you not balance the game? What? <laughs> but yeah, Malzuri is gonna drop here, so those they're they're they well, they have to be Ruby, yeah. They're they're, they're guaranteed Ruby. Insin can come in and like 
Why don't they go Scar Fox, actually? Wait, why didn't they just hit this earlier, then? Were they scared of, like, Emerald or something? But you're clutch, aren't you? Wait. Yeah, you did, Ender. I just looked. They double here into the Insin. Oh boy. Bro, Vibes is making every play here, and they need it because they are in a losing position. They have to get these reads to get them in a spot where they can, you know. So, I mean, they can just go their own Insin. And they do do that on the Fireball. But I mean, is this one Crayons? Yeah. Technically, vibes should work the, work the, the, you know, win this. Because they did hit it first, but I mean, it comes down to crits. It literally just comes down to crit. If they want to do this, I mean, they could just, well, they don't want to go Scarf off. They have to, yeah, no. Vibes has to take this. It has to be a crit war here because if vibes go Scarf Fox, they lose their, what's it called? They lose their clutch. It's a good way to getting into creature capturing slash Pokemon PvP. I mean, if you're brand new, you obviously need to learn the basics. Uh, if it's Duda World, I do have like a PvP for beginners guide. It's it's old, but it goes over like meta and making a doodle, making a team, etc. But also Pokemon videos. Oh, they just okay. Yeah, Vibes got the current. They pretty much probably run this. Pokemon videos help as well. Like, I, honestly, me personally, like, I literally watch guides on, like, Scarlet and Violet Pokemon team building and that. And, like, that literally, like, it, it it's the same as Duda World. It's very similar to Duda World, right? So that helps. Plus, I mean, for me, I used to watch, like, Aiyut's tournaments exactly like this. Oh, wait, they're Rest Mold. They, vibes loses. No, they lose. <laughs> it's Rest Mold. Wait, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, no, they... <laughs> vibes has to go Scar Fox and, like, a Rest or something. But yeah, just, yeah. And then once, yeah, yeah, no problem. And once you, like, start, you know, getting used to PvP, like, I, honestly, the biggest thing for me was, instead of, like, just playing a bunch of maps, playing, but, like, obviously you have to play to learn, but once you, like, you know, understand the basics, then it really comes down to just analyzing previous battles. Like, me, what really helped was I'd go back and I'd, like, watch my own battles in like tournament settings or just record my own battles or like you know watch back my old videos and like find where i messed up find where i could have made better plays etc and also like other battles like this like tomorrow we're gonna have like the t best eight players of the tournament facing off so those will be like quality battles i'm sure you, you know it's like honestly me like i literally like when i eat hosted tournaments like this i would watch those tournaments just to watch the top players so i could like you know learn from them, right? And that's what really, you know, helps. Rest molting and both starting each... I mean, Vibes can't win this because... Unless they... Well, they... They have to double to Scar Fox right now. Vibes has no recovery besides the used crayons. And I mean, Ice has 10 rests. So, like, unless they get a million crits, there's, there's no way that Vibes can win this. Imagine if I'm top 8. We'll see. We'll have to see. But anyways, yeah, I mean, they do dub. Oh. I mean, they kill the instant, but they lose their clutch. Okay. Yeah, it's balling. What PvP Pokemon YouTuber? I honestly, I don't even know any. I just kind of watch whatever. Like, I just look up. I know Roger linked me a couple, but, like, they're all from, like, various different people. There's no, I don't really have anyone specific. Offensive Voltitude, bro. But yeah, I mean, the, the instant is low. That is something. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Seraphim's here. Yeah, anyways. False swipe's good. True. I mean... <laughs> I don't think Vibes can come back from this. This in the, this literally gets a kill now. Seraphim kills something. They can go Mealarsa, but it's dead in two. They sack instant, yeah. I mean, Ice's instant or Balling's instant. I don't know. Do they go by Balling or by Ice? I don't know. But, um... Yeah, they're into this. Yeah. Wait, they go into Mealarsa. Wait, why? Oh, because it's good rip current, right? Wait, no, they literally. Wait, <laughs> Seraphim just wins. 
Unless Mealarsa lives one, but it's sickly, so like... Oh, it does! It lives one! Honey slap kills! Uh, okay. Alright. <laughs> Mueller's- I mean, for Gale's here, it is Ruby. They do just jet strike Ruby and win, though. Yeah, they just jet strike Ruby. Okay, GG's. <laughs> Unless this is Quick Eye Scar Fox, actually. Wait. Quick Eye Scar Fox is the comeback. And then they. Uh, how low is this? Wait, is it possible, guys? Oh, no, it's not. It's not possible. Ice is gonna take this 2-0. Defeating Vibes, and yes, moving on to round 3 there. So yeah, GG's. And as an update, I mean, yeah, no, we saw Andrew beat Car, Palmer just beat Hat, and that's all we know. So yeah, I believe Oring and Rain were here, right? Yes. Oh. Okay, this is game 3, so this has to be a 1-1. Alright, this is game 3. I believe this is game three, right? I'll just confirm. I don't see why it wouldn't be, but I just want to make sure before I, you know. No. Oh, wait. It's not. That's why. Okay, so Oring's up. So Oring's up 1 nothing. This is game one. Game two, sorry. Boring against rain. Yeah, it's best out of three. They might have went to submit the game. I'm not sure if they're mobile or not. Anyways, though, we see a Fruit Toad on the Snow Clone, which I mean, it just pivots and gets free momentum, right? To add Vermorph usage because it's funny, true. True. We see Green Scorch. No, every every game's best out of three. The only reason that round one was best of one previously in like old old cups was because there was four rounds. Now we only have three rounds, so it's you know timing wise, it's fine to do it all best of three. But if it, like, we go, ever go over 64 people again, then, yeah, it'll go into round one, will be best of one. And I'll communicate that as well, but, yeah. Anyways, we see Bionic here, on the last right, which is gonna hurt a lot, yep. <laughs> Remove the discontinue idea, make vintage, title, older skins, make skin shop, put in disco prayer, I don't know. It's a whole complicated situation. I mean, some people, you know, different things, different people like, right? But I mean, the original idea was definitely, like, you know, yeah. Anyways, we're, we're moving past that. Fumasu just takes a chunk. Scorch Jr. comes in. <laughs> the instant comes in, all the Psycho Bar is immune. It can now Chaotic Hold for free, or Burning Orb for free. They always Burning Orb. The music down? Wait, is, wait, give me a second. Let me check this. Wait, it is. It is actually pretty loud. I mean, it should be right there. There's a spot. Is that good? This is like a loud song. So I don't think. I think negative 30 is usually where it should be, which, I mean, you guys don't see that fight. Most instant don't run Burning Orb. Oh wait, yeah, they have Rest Molt. Some, like, Molt, yeah. Lethal Ornament, you, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, that. Bro, wait, Silver Rock? Sobarok is not relevant though, what? There's like hardly any Sobers around. Or Somber. Somberak. Sober. Somberaks.
All right, we see the green Scorch. The absolute legendary skin come on the field here. Which you guys can also win if you get top four of the tournament. Okay, anyways, uh, we see Dursir here. Now, I mean, Insane can just come in, so that's gonna happen. Or if you master, I suppose. Could disarm. Still takes no damage to Nutrient Drain. got cleaned by Sauber in one of your ranked streams. I have not streamed this season once. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, Burning Orb misses the Bionotic, which is a big deal, because those Storm Heals being cart would have been cool. I've not used Instant either. Wait, what? That's never happened. Alright, Tsunami... Yeah, I mean, they just kind of get the heal for free. I I mean, this bio should be healing. It has the opportunity to, like, trade heals with this. Which, I mean... Oh. Bruh. Bro, the sand team was, like, season 3. Am I still alive? Hello. Hello, guys. How's it going? Scorch here. Um... <laughs> I don't really un what okay it must be a Roblox issue or something because <laughs> bruh yeah I'm trying to f which server was it in boring and rain this is PS scorch PS alright no it wasn't no this isn't okay we'll just join through easy wait did they also disconnect Wait, did you guys also disconnect? It's the same server, so not everybody did, but they're not in here. They were in here, weren't they? Wait, 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 hold up. Did both players disconnect? Did Oring also disconnect? <laughs> wait, what? Every- Bro! Everyone disconnected! <laughs> well, I guess we restart the battle because... Um... Alright, you can switch teams and such. If both players disconnected at the same time, redo the match. Like, it, it's te we technically have to count it as a tie, right? Like, there's no way we can do that. So it would technically be a tie. So it would count as another game. Yeah. That's, uh, that was, that's weird. That, that's really weird. Best Scorch Cup? True. This is indeed a real, very real Scorch Cup. Guys, do you prefer this Scorch Cup or do you prefer Scorch Cup 13? Let me know in the comment or comments in the chat. <laughs> Only real ones were there for Scorch Cup 13 when I was one click away from leaking my IP, IP to the world. <laughs> The Roblox shut down and I tried to check my internet to see if it was my internet. I was one click away from IP, like, from, like, doxing myself. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna follow them into the game, I guess. Scorch Cup 13 was the last Scorch Cup with a Scorch logo, too. Before I made the shift to Doodle, Doodles as the logos. Yeah, th there was, like, Blox Fruit updated or something and it literally crashed Roblox. That was funny. Looking back, that was funny. At the time, it was frustrating, but like... Yeah, wait, Car was in VC and we were playing Showdown and such. <laughs> Bro, those are good times. 
Yeah, ser server unavailable 5031 or something. I remember I, like, announced that. <laughs> Bro. It's funny to look back at that. At the time, I was, like, so frustrated. But now it's, like, it's just kind of funny. Alright, anyways. This is game two, although we, yeah. We, uh, yeah, we did, uh, we did have both players disconnect, so we are, you know, redoing this game. That has never happened before, but, I mean, it's not as scuffed as the entire tournament being cancelled, so hey, we can't complain, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, anyways, hit and run. Rest bubble? It's possible, even though it's awake and it can't heal. I mean, it can heal the burn. Or, sorry, can't wake up right. Like heal the heal the uh, heal the sleep. But yeah, no, it's yeah. you know he's burning orb on the medicro too, cutting that heal in half. I mean, they do clear the burn. They just are asleep for three things. Medicro's weak. You see, back in my day, this thing was the face of turn. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. You guys remember when Medicro dominated everything? You guys remember when Clangatang existed only because Medicro existed? Oh my gosh, why is it? Stop, 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 stop. What is this ad? I don't know what this is, but I'm muting it. One second, guys. I'll have to sing myself for one moment. No, I'm just kidding. Bro, Clangatang was only relevant to answer Medicro. All right, music's back. Giga Moss plus, yep. Yep, the garlic, moss, wolf freeze, yep. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember my first, it, it was the first ever I eat tournament. I accidentally brought a peblet and I still won. That was like peak scorch as a tournament player. Now there's no tournaments to participate in but my own, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, Vigimanti's gonna drop here. Oh, they healed him, man. Monologue was good? Monologue was never good, what? When was Monologue, like, relevant? Has Monologue ever been, like, OU? I don't think so. Okay, well, the heal goes up. Yeah, no, Monologue was never good. Bull duo was good key zero? No. No. Bull duo. I mean, Bull duo existed. True, it was Uber, so real. Doodle World Ubers. I don't think Doodle World's ever had an Uber, no. Anyways, we see Bubble here. Oh, key one. Wait, key one, yeah. Wait, what was Doodle World's Uber? When do they have an Uber? Menacing Infer, no. Actually, original Spectatic might have been. What was- I forget, what did they do to Spectat- Wasn't Spectatic Awaken, like, absolutely broke- Oh, yeah, wait, what about- Old Gomut, actually. I wasn't around for that. But Old Gomut was, yeah. <laughs> Mono got banned last second during an Eat Cup due to armor break? Wait, what? Springling pre nerf See, I don't remember any of this. I, I remember people telling me about Gomod. I don't remember experiencing. Springling, I don't remember any of that. Spring lost 15 attack? There's no way it was Uber. This isn't like. A change like that's not gonna drop it a tier, no. Okay, is he goo blast? Fireball does pick up the kill. So yeah, Vigil does come in here. Now switch-ins include 
Fumacity, which does get Dark Slash, but they have to predict it turn one, like right now, and it can kill it. Actually, it's Thorns, isn't it? Fin Slash. I oh, know they don't. What am I saying? Wait, what? Why did that do so little earlier? Wait, I swear that... What do I... Okay, remember what I'm saying. I swear that did way less earlier. Was it this that hit it? Yeah. Jalopy got banned? What? Oh, the Jelly Lover. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember any of that, I'll be honest. I only remember, like, yeah. I was irrelevant then. Back in the days when you guys didn't know the name Scorch. And I was just some guy that was just trying to be good at PvP. And would, like, play on my literal iPhone 5 in the car. Because I was, like, busy at the time of those cups. Or tournaments, whatever they're called. Who is Scorch? Uh, this guy. Green Scorch. It's actually Jurassir. Jurassir's name is Scorch. Also, they just Shadow Lurked and Crit. I, I don't know why they Shadow Lurked, and I don't know why it Crit. Well, obviously it's random, but you know. <laughs> Try to use Candy Gum before Sugar Coating existed? True. Candy Gun was, um, cool. And then they, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we see the nullify- wait, this is gonna hurt. Oh boy. Oh boo, I should say. Where did the hemlock crit? Oh. Well, Bile is dead. That's something. I mean, Vigil does have rip current, so it can kill this, but like, you know. Kind of a struggle to get rid of. Now, we're not a struggle. Like, they had to... Oh, they double here. They had to, like, make a play to get rid of it. Oh, oh wait. No, they just lose. Oh, no, they throw... Oh, wait. Okay, there it is. Yeah. They, they had to make plays to kill it, and they did. They, you know, had to sack Bio, go Vigia, double into Fumasu. Yeah, no, it is dead now. Instant is here, though, and it does get to Chaotic Bolt for free. Vigia can't come in. Snow Clone can't come in. Like, for switch, hard switch in. They have the Conjura. They have to sack this, yeah. And now Vigia comes in, and... Yeah. I mean, it's probably just base form, right? So it can't, like... I don't know, get plus two or something and sweep. Yeah, I mean... How low is Bubble? 77... Mela can't can comfortably come in though, can't it? Or this even? No, this can't. Yeah, what? <laughs> well, I mean, bubble drops. Doesn't Mela can't? Well, they they sack this, go Mela can't, then Mela can't gets a kill pretty much. Doesn't Mela can't have like hundred something defense? Yeah, it's 85, 115 bulk. Fast food fruto, true. So real. <laughs> Very real. But yeah, I mean, Mela Cat can come in right now and live one for sure. They go Fruit Toad, actually. Okay, this is interesting. I mean, they get to... I mean, actually, this lives one too. Yeah, no, they might as well. This lives too. They just take out here. And they get momentum or the... Yeah. This is the better play, because they live either way, and they either, like, with Mela Cant, you don't keep your momentum with Pivot. With this, you live one, you pivot. With Mela Cant, you live one, and you, you know, sit there. In case they switched out, which, I mean, they didn't, but anyways. And, yeah, I mean, Snow Clone does come in. Now... Wait, does this just win? Mela- wait. Bro, Melican has 60 magical defense. This is- this is- snow cannons has to be ranged, right? Yeah. Wait, snow clone wins! Wait, Oring literally wins with this.
they didn't hit that for some reason. But, I mean, it works. They go... Wait, why did the fruit toad feast? And why did they not just hit this? Um... I'm confused now, but I mean, the situation we're in, now Jira does just kind of hemlock or rusty roots as they take out, refusing to feast. So yeah, no, now Snow... Actually, no, this is a psychic move, doesn't it? Or fire, it, it, no, fire move, sorry, fire move. So Jira drops, and then if Snow Clone kills, it, it wins. Oh, but it hastes. Wait, Rusty Root? They don't Rusty Roots! Wait, why didn't they Rust- No, why didn't they Rusty Roots? Okay, well now it wins because it's faster than everything. Alright! Oh, is it Jetpack? I missed that. My bad, I missed that. I missed that. I did not read. I was looking at chat when it came in. Okay, well unless this is like Emerald or something, it wins. The, the mail account wins. Determination Jelly! Wait! It's D-Jelly! Neutra Drain kills! Bro! Snow Clone wins! It's Determination Jelly! <laughs> Bruh! Oring takes it 2-0 over Rain with the Determination Jelly Snow Clone! Bruh! <laughs> that was not... <laughs> and they call Snow Clone bad. Well, Oring takes it 2 nothing. Moving on to round 3 there. GG's. Oring after coming back. Well, that is, uh, that, yeah, that's, there's that set. Anyways, we're gonna hop into... We're gonna hop into Ono's game here. We have Ono against Lucas here. No, nah, no, nah, there's more. Oh, never mind. It's in here. I didn't even look. Oh, boy. Oh. This is over. Alright, it looks like Ono has won 2 nothing here. Ono's moved on to round 3. What else do we have? We have Gyre and Dogbot here. Oops, that was the minimize key. Or button. I finished 30 minutes ago? Bro, like, swept his games. Oh. Wait, what's their name again? Wait, what? Do you guys know Gyre's username? They didn't communicate and start GG like they're supposed to. I don't, I don't know the username. Um, I swear it was just not Gyre. Oh no, it's like y wait. Oh, isn't that Vibes? Is? Oh, no, Young Trash is Vibes, isn't it? Yeah. Stick. Oh, is it this? Is it this? Is it your YouTube name? No. Jai, what's your- oh, here it is. Alright. What am I- what did I miss? You didn't say anything. Oh, wait, this was a while ago. I- that round one took so long I could make it- wait, no, that was- no. That- that's- yeah. That was games, but no, you're, you're here. What's up? Oops. Alright. Here we go. Wait, so is this game... This is this has to be a game two or a game three. What, uh... What game is this? Okay, 
Alright. Wait, so who's winning? Technically- oh, wait, what? I missed the apostrophe, it's fine. <laughs> Bro, wait, there's a Lacygen on this side. Lacygen, Velado, Archo, Instant, Med, Elytra, and Score Surge. Against Haha Yina Kadir, Wivernal, Fruitoad, Fumasu, and Mercenus. Alright. Why is Scorch here? To watch a battle, of course not. Alright, Jari's winning one nothing. You just said in chat. Or stream chat. True, car that's so real. Anyways, though, looking at the teams, I mean, this metal archer can just heal for, for dispose. What the heck? Dispose fee master instead of shifting winds fee master, so it can not remove hazards on the spirit types it's weak to. Bro's cooking. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, laser gen just. I mean, there's a Verna, but it's fireproof. There's okay, what? Bees go up, heal goes up, bro. I will PP stall this Fimasu. I will press the stop spectating button. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I mean, Metalite just heals and like, yeah, pivot, okay. That was a crit, yeah. <laughs> There's no way that does that much. Alright, well, Wavernal does get entry here. And. Jire does have to respond with, like, Incin. Second hit and run crit, that's crazy. But yeah, I mean... Incin's almost guaranteed coming in here. Dogbot actually doubles into Ha Hyena. So that's something. It gets the menacing, which doesn't mean anything. Their jetpack as well, which doesn't matter this game, unless there's like Earth Surge, Square Surge or something, but yeah. Oh, you went in Score Surge before, I see. Anyways, Fruto does pick up a Burning Orb here, alright. So this instance Burning Orb and burns this, obviously. Just like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> This seems like a thing that happens a lot. Fruitwood comes in on the, like, especially, like, older seasons. Fruitwood comes in and gets burnt, but it still technically answers this. Can we start round three right now? Round three is going to end as soon as all the round twos are done. And it wave shots the bees. Okay. How much PP is bee summon? Like... In total, it's 20. How many do they have? I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, I mean... The fruit... It's neutral electric. Actually, no, it's weak to poison. It literally gets to poison in the face. They go Hahina. Hahina comes in, and... Or Fumasu comes in, too, I guess, can. But it's, this is weak to a... Yeah. Wait, why'd they go Fumasu? This just dies. Oh, for sure, Car. I mean, I don't even think it's gonna matter. Like, it's, it doesn't make a huge impact. Yeah, I remember when Feast was 3 too. Like, having them 10 PP, I mean, it makes more sense, but it's like, do you ever even use 10 to begin with? Ever? <laughs> like, I, I would say go for it. 3 PP Feast was funny? Yes, it was actually. I remember, because Good Garlic was just that good, apparently. Nobody could answer Good Garlic. Alright, D strike, yeah. Crits. Taking that, yeah, quad effective. Or quad resistant hit. Accidentally buffing Stally 8, true. The diamond dash comes out doing a lot to that metal eye track. Useless change after the goaded tenacious snow roll and plus 15 speed plus hydraulic stat. True. 
Alright, we see the B summon go up. Now... I mean, Metalytra probably can kill- oh, they just heal, never mind. They just want to trade heals. I mean, we don't even know if they have, like, Antenna Beam. Probably not. They're Shock Therapy, Hit and Run. They're defensive, for sure. Yeah, they don't. I got some nice suggestions going. Hmm. You should share those nice suggestions with me in my DMs. Semi stall boo. Mm. Well, now Laverno comes in, and now it's a repeat of what happened last time. Laverno <laughs> comes in. I mean, hmm. Insin. Yeah. Is this just pivot? No, it fireballs. Okay. It crits. Okay. <laughs> nice. I knew Arn had determination, but I remembered once I committed. Oh, I only remember when I committed. Unfortunate. They crit again? Bruh! What are these crits? This is crazy. What? Thank god I predicted double crit? True. So real. Sniper scope revernal? True. <laughs> so real. Alright, the molts on the rest. Gets all its health back. Fruit Toad's there. I mean, it might even win. It literally wins this because it has rest. Like, the Fruit Toad has to pivot and get out of there. Yeah, Ender's thinking the same thing as me. Yeah, it, it literally doesn't win. Like, there's no way. Wait, Carl, I'll, I'll read that. I'll read that after stream. Unless you want me to say it on chat, or like, live, but I'll look at that after stream. Alright, Fruit Toad's back here, which I mean, with negative two it might. You can say I'm here because of suggestions? Alright. Alright, what do you guys think about... Oh boy, these are longer than I thought. Okay, well, we'll... we'll... Here. Car, this will be our entertainment in between battles. There we go. Maybe not during a battle, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss between battles. There we go. Car's got some suggestions. Even though you're literally a balancer, no? <laughs> Alright, well, I mean... Velodu just exists. I mean, it, yeah. It kills this. They probably just pivot. They gave up on removing bees. Seems to be the case. Will this click the beast move? I mean, then... Yeah, the mine is no oh, hand run, okay. And now, I mean, neglect entry on Revernal, I guess. I don't know. You go Laser Gen, okay. Laser Gen is here. Now, Mercenus. So this thing does have a good defensive stat. And it does resist, like, 10 types. So, I mean, does Mercenus hit this? No. This has Electro Slash. This might be good for Gyre. Can Gyre not just Electro Slash right now? If they have it? Or does this have, no, does this have Days? Wait, it has Days. Never mind. I lied. It has Days. I forgot. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> I forgot this had Days. That's my bad. Meta Resilient. Okay, wait. Yeah, Days drops, gets the chip. Okay. Well, I mean, Score Surge is here. And, uh, kills everything that comes in, literally. Wait, I mean, besides Kadir, I guess. Kadir's kind of forced in, or ha you know, which... Doesn't this have Earth Surge? Which is Jetpack, but they have to click it first. Never mind, yeah, they have to... But no, two of these definitely kill. But they hit random. Wait, well, no, it's quad resisted. never mind. No, no, ha you know, literally stops this at this range unless it's earth surge which i mean the jetpack so yeah you're ch you've chipped it enough took an awfully long time to click days that too yeah who left in round two what do you mean wait this is probably this is pretty much dead now for the next time it comes in with bees. Icy Bite crits! 
weird jelly activates, but it's crit, so it's... Bruh. Why is Gyre getting absolutely RNG'd here? Imagine that didn't crit. Would've done like this. And then they would've like, probably lived in more- Well, maybe. Maybe, actually. Actually, no, but there's a Kadir here, never mind. Actually, it, it didn't really matter, there's a Kadir. The player's fighting who left. What? Nobody, what? Huh? Alright, well, there's a Laser Gen, so, or a Score Surge, too. That's something. I mean. Doesn't Score Surge kill everything that comes, like. Doesn't Score Surge just pretty much win? Vernal Sack. Like, every time Score Surge hits the field, everything just dies. Oh, wait, they. I didn't even realize they have an Archipause. Wait. Um. They sat. They just gave them their Vernal and then went back into Kadir and took more B chip. Mind Drain. So it does have it, but like, it's non stab 65 base power. Two strikes not gonna kill, yeah. Oh, there's. They specs, I guess? But still, two of those. What did they have? What did they click before? I mean. Oh, Aurora, right, okay. I mean, doesn't. Like. No, wait. It's neutral, though, what? It is, it's neutral stab, what? That's a neutral stab hit. That was probably two hitting, anyways. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Archipos gets out sped. So that's like emeralds are very, very fast. Oh boy. Probably emeralds, I would assume. Considering Arch was like 115 plus something speed. See the Fruit Toad sack? I mean, Mercenus kind of just wins still, doesn't it? Or beat, sorry, doesn't win. Like, Gyre just wins. This, I mean, you have Score Surge, you have Velado. Sack one thing, go these, whatever. And then, like, this just dies to Laser. Like, you keep Le you keep Laser in the back for, to for Kadir. Sack one of these two, you probably just. Wait, no, but it's Emerald. Wait, it's Emerald, though. I see. Wait, now they can go laser, because it's emerald. Now they can go laser and win, because it's emerald. Okay, yeah, those, they're good. Yeah, there's no way Jar can lose this. If they had the opportunity to switch moves, I mean... Then the Velo then they wouldn't be fast, yeah, then it wouldn't be faster, so, yeah. Icy, dro Icy goes, Electro goes, and then, yeah. Gyre is going to take this 2-0 over Dogbot, making it 2 round 3. Kadir Clutch? Nah, never. What? This is like 3%, well, 10%, 8%, 13%, 9%, Is it a chance? No, 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 no. There is a chance! Wait! Is this Revenge's Rush? It's Revenge's Rush, it's over. Yeah, it's over. GG's, Revenge just kills, it's game over. Gets the crit, Gyre fi finally gets a crit at the one moment it doesn't matter at the end of the game. <laughs> and yeah, it's gonna be GG's, Gyre is going to take it 2 nothing over Dogbots, and that is the final round of, or the final, yeah, the final game of round two, so yeah. GG's. We're gonna submit that. Submit that. That goes through. All right, perfect. There we go. All right. We are going to be opening round three check-ins very shortly here.
All right, there we go. Let me fix the score. All right, so this is the final round of the day. The winners of these matches will be making it to top eight and will be competing in finals day tomorrow. So yeah, good luck. I'm gonna ping for this. Round three check-ins are open. The winners of this round make it to finals day tomorrow. All right, round three's up. Go check in if you are part of round three. Why is there only seven? Wait. One sec. Uh, that's going good. Pull two, yes. Oh my gosh, the DQs. That one's going, yes. Wait, is my thing wrong or why is... There should be... Wait. Wait. Pool 8 didn't have a round 3. Wait, why did it start with... Bruh. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> um, guys. Uh, pool 8 didn't have a round 3. So, Oring is day 2 already. Yeah. I didn't realize, but... Based on the signups, there was only, there was like, it would be 39. Yeah, there was, there was 39 people. So this game only had two rounds. And I guess this counted as the round one, this counted as the round two. I should have put this as round two, this is round three. I don't even know how to do that, but that should have been how it was, but it wasn't. So, yeah, I mean, every game is, you know, it's like this. So, yeah, I mean, Oring... Based on just luck of, you know, randomness, his pool was only two rounds, so... Yeah, I mean, Oring is the first person in finals day tomorrow. And, I mean, the rest, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna figure out now. So, yeah, let's hop right into it. All right, let's take a look at who's battling right now. Hmm. I'm gonna hop in Ono and Ice. Eh, we saw both. No, actually, we didn't see Ono. We barely saw Ice. So, Jar, just watch. Yeah, we'll do this. All right. Actually, there's no username. Never mind. We'll do this one. Scorch PS. All right, we're gonna hop into Glory and Builders game. They are in Scorch PS, so that's quick, easy. Let's hop into it. Gives you zero days. Let's take a look at car suggestions. Now nah, we're hopping into battles. If if we're like between matches waiting, then yes. But like battles are literally starting right now. Builder hasn't joined. All right, we'll wait here for Builder as we look at car suggestions. There we go. Wait, what the heck? I'm like pushing, bro. What the heck? Glory, get down there! Get down there, Glory. <laughs> what is? <laughs> what? I was like pushing their avatar. It looked like. Were you moving as I was moving? Was it? Why did it look like I was like pushing Glory? What? <laughs> oh well, people are here. I guess whoever battles first will watch because there's a couple matches in here. <laughs> Anyways. I wasn't, bro, it was a bug and it looked like I was pushing you down the stairs. <laughs> Alright guys, Car's first suggestion, Goat loses magic attack, loses 15 magic attack, gains 15 speed, gets hydraulic crash, gets mock charge, and static charge is now, whenever this dude uses a charging move, set up pylons. That seems a uh, free pylon setup? Wait, what's a charging move? I mean, you have 
Yeah, no, hydraulic char crash. No. Mock charge the charge. Hydraulic crash is not. Go back to the trenches, bruh. I mean... Giving it more speed is not really gonna do much. Magic attack going down, and obviously that's to give it the speed. I mean, it's not. It's just suggestions, but it's like... I mean, hydraulic, it can hit, what, Earths? That's cool. Actually, Ender's not... Is that... Yeah. Wait. Ender and Wang, yeah. Alright, we're gonna watch Ender and Wang here, because we're, um... Yeah. Oh, wait, it has Warcry, right! But, I mean, with Warcry... Yeah, that's true, actually. I mean, to be honest... I don't know how I feel about the whole pylons thing, but the other stuff for sure, because that, that would help Goat. Like, Goat has literally never been used at all. Like, literally, not a single time have I seen a Goat, besides when I used it once and it was just for jokes. But, not jokes, but I tr like, tried to make it work. And, um, and I, I mean, I did alright, but obviously it's not, you know, top tier, whatever. Like, Hydraulic, yes. I mean, hitting Earth with a physical move is cool. Mock Charge, I don't know what that does, but I mean, you hit metals, I think. You hit crystals. It's a physical move, or a melee move, right? Give us the Goat meta? True. We need the Goat Goat meta. Mo oh, wait, Mock Charge is... I thought Mock Charge was a phys... Wait. What is Mock Charge? Think twice. It hits the target twice, once with the charging move, and the other time with pylons. Oh, it's driving force, but doesn't do damage. I see. Mmm, Red Whirlwind, okay, so... I mean... You're not like, oh, a wrap? Wait, Ender wraps this, so now they're stuck 1v1ing each other, and I mean... Technically, Ender wins if there's no crits. I mean, g giving go on Mock Charge makes sense. Hydraulic Crash, I mean, you needed a buff it somehow, so I guess that makes sense. You can hit Earths. I, I'd go for that. Like, I mean, you gotta do something in Goat, right? And that does... I could see that happening. The only thing I don't... Oh, did I not... Yeah, okay. Oh, my stream's just behind. The only thing I, uh... Like, the pylons thing... I mean, automatic pylons from clicking a move kind of seems strong, but, like... Goat needs something, to be honest, so, I mean... Yeah. Storm heal goes up. I mean... Melican and Clyde are nicer. We'll have to see that after. Yeah, that's the thing. Wait. Mo you get to just... Yeah, no, I don't like that. Because you can roar something out as you're setting hazards. That seems kind of... Nah. The Hydraulic I agree with. Hit having Mock Charge I agree with. But being able to set up pylons... As you force something out just seems like... And this thing has like 120 health, so it's going to be able to click Roar against a lot of things. Because you take a hit, force them out, get pylons up, it's like, you know. But I mean, maybe that's what Goat needs, because like, you know, it sucks. But, I mean, that would make it so both abilities are used. Like, Electrocute it has, so like, Electrocute is pretty popular. It's probably the, like the only good ability right now, I think. Or Galvanize too. Like, it would make all abilities viable, I guess. Mock Charge literally has charge... Wait, charging... Bro, it has charge in the name. What? What's a charging move? Wait, what's a charging move that Goat has? Alright, take out, pivot. Mock Charge description? I don't know. I don't even know what this move is. What is... What has this? I haven't seen this in my life. Oh, there's a lot with this, actually. These are fakes, a charge, at full speed, scaring them. So, yeah, it's Roar. And it has negative priority. Which is... It's driving force, but that'll... Yeah. A fake... Wait. These are fakes at charge. So, what's a charging move? What, what is... What is a charge... Like, what... What is... Why did Wish list as a charge? Well, there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Go 
Faking a charge is charging, though. What? <laughs> like, that apply- like... Horn Pierce, Reckless Charge, Solid Charge, Mock Charge, Psychic Ram, SCL, Spidey Day. Yeah, you're still- yeah, oh, I'm gonna set it properly. You're- you're still attempting the charge. You're still technically doing the charging motion. If I throw a punch, but I miss the punch, it's still a punch, right? Anyways, we see Bungo come in. As Arachnia comes in. Charging electricity? What What does that have to do with electricity? Bro, reckless charge, you do not charge electricity. Horn Pierce is not charging electricity. Spicy Tackle is not charging electricity. What? You said all charging moves. Doesn't this get, like, reckless? My brain is farting. See, this is why you need a higher Scorch SE is another balancer to help out. Real. Also, we, the defensive Arachnia is back. I'm not paying attention, but I think this is set up, probably. Unless it just hit this with like a tsunami or something. Or a, what was this? I don't know. Oops. Wait, how did I do that? Wait, what the heck? Shop? Wait. Bruh. Bruh. Guys, let's check out my roulette. Whoa, gold squawk. Bruh, get this there. Devour Arachnia. I saw that. It, t it, you know, the enlightenments, but I mean, it switched out. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, this doesn't get to hit and run for free. Arach oh, if it has Diamond Dash, I guess it's Diamond Dash too, but like, you know. It doesn't. It always hit and runs. Off the client. Shifting wins, actually. So it gets rid of the bees. Actually, I forgot. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, the bees. That makes sense. Bees gone. Now, I mean... Bio is dead. How old is this Bio? 58. I summon Boo Relly Connus. I summon whatever that is. <laughs> nice. Alright, we see Velado here on the Iron Slash that does like 90%. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I mean... Uh... I think Ender might have this game already. Like... Velado... Riptorvent, Riptorvent comes in, which is neutral, but it dies to Thorns. So Velado drops... Wait, what's happening with... Oh, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five... How are games done? Wait, games are done already. What? Wait. There's only five top eights going on? Or t finals round threes going on? Uh, one sec. I might have information on who won... Oh, wait, there was DQs, that's why. Bruh, there was DQs in round three. Um, okay, well, Memers has made it to top eight, and uh, Ominous has made it to top eight through a round three DQ. Which is interesting. <laughs> Alright, shock therapy goes up. Alright, Klein comes in on the crystal card, okay. Yo, what's up, Beavers? <laughs> Ready for top 8 tomorrow? But yeah, I mean... They just go, like... What do they even go into? Like, how how does how does Wang break this Klein, let's be honest? 
being like a slap on the wrist. Or Velado. Or Velodu. Velodu. Velodo. There it is. <laughs> Disarm. Okay. Thorns are gone. Crystal Cut. This is literally like. Clang literally sits on this team now. Like, what are they doing? Now that Bio's dead, they literally have nothing for this. Bungo, I mean, it's. Actually, it might have Tsunami. But still, it's weak to Earth, so it loses its first form. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know. And Sumo's, yeah. Soberok? I mean, doesn't. Meh. It lives one. It's not A tier car. Hmm. Iron Slash, yeah, it literally wins. It lives two, actually, I lied. <laughs> yeah, the Ender might have this game already. I, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of safe to say that this game might be over. They got the Vulnerable too for no reason. Yeah, no, this game's over. I'm not going to watch the end of it. We, we all know what's going to happen. Ender's going to win game one. Uh, it's the only game, actually. Never mind. There's people here, but there's no other games. So, the other two are probably in team... Uh, whatever it's called. Adjustments. Wait, but they're talking about their game. What? Team Knight's mid. I mean, you can literally just predict... Like, you can literally double into them as they're scissor guarding, right? Oh no, Ice? Are they in here? No. I don't have a user though. Do they communicate that? They did actually. Wait, what? He joined. Huh? I mean, we can hot. We can. Wait, Arnold's username is easy actually. I can just find him through there. The only good rip Torben set is max bulk. Hmm. Alright, we got usernames. Yeah, we're gonna hop into it. This game's already over. <laughs> we know what's gonna happen. We're gonna hop into Ono and Ice's game. Ender was, yeah, winning that. Pia? We butchered it. Ono? Mana Pia. Is it not like that? Wait, how did Ominous spell it? Oh no. Ma oh. Yeah, that's how Ominous spelled it. Wait, we're both wrong. Bruh. Oh, oh, on, oh, Matt, oh. Is that not. Oh, there's an O here. Oh no, Matt. Oh, P. Yeah, there it is. Onomatopoeia. 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 All right. Stream is so laggy. Nah, what? You gotta refresh. We got. We gotta. You gotta see this. Uh, this ice and Ono pool finals. Decides to make it to the finals day tomorrow. It's exciting. All right, let's hop right into it. I don't know if this is game one or game two or not, but we're gonna um, we're gonna find out. UI navigation enabled. Back. What is that, bro? How do I get rid of that? Back, backslash, backslash. I'm pressing that. Bro, what? Alright, I guess there's a box around my, uh... It looks like a face. <laughs> it looks like they're, like, wide-eyed open. <laughs> uh, okay. Disabler and Roblox settings. Oh, well, that fixed it, so I don't know. Anyways. 
We have... Ono against Ice here. Two, three, letter... I guess the O is a zero, but number. <laughs> three letter names. All right. Wait, Ender, did you lose that game? Wait, Wang, did you win the game one? Bruh, there's no way that happened. What? All right, for Gales here. We're on the hemlock. And I mean, Ono has to go metal probably or Skadeen here. Depending if it's like defensive. Oh, they just hit and run on this actually, never mind. Actually, wait, did this 70? Mm, this lived to nose died actually. It got like all its health back. S tier Doddle. On the hemlock doing a lot. So Ono gets the right play there. Takes a lot on the snow clone and, you know, gets its health back. Neutron Drain, though, does a lot. Holy. It's Accelerate, so it's probably not defensive. I mean, based on the Neutron Drain damage, probably as well, not. <laughs> I kind of showed that as well. So, I mean. Bug move incoming. They do have, like, Seraphim, Insin. They probably just hit run, to be honest. Pygag does not kill, and Serrated does. Alright, so they do stay in Serrated. They do pick up the Snow Clone. And they do live, so, yeah. I mean, they're plus two speed. There is, like, a Jet Strike for Gale, so it's kind of whatever, but, you know. Alright, Craigle Day comes in. Snow clones a godly doodle? Apparently. Why, why is there so many snow clones today? Like, they just appeared out of nowhere, it feels like. But I mean. Craigle Day is. Gonna... Oh, it has Swift Talk, okay. Alright. Metalytra dies there. We see for Gale come in, which I mean absolutely nukes this thing. They're forced into Seraphin or like Riptorvent. And uh yeah. Are these both healthy? 95 Oh th instant low actually. Right, so they go Sarah right now. Or are they sack? Actually, they sack rip. Never mind. This was even lower. What the heck? <laughs> Hit and run pivot. And I mean, Skadeen A goes crazy, actually. What the heck? As long as it's given. Like, I guess Craigle Day's faster, but if it gets entry in something. Obviously, it doesn't go right now, but when it gets entry against, like, you know, Seraphim or something. If it's physical, I'm assuming it's physical. Or even if it's ranged, I mean, it's still. It's these three. This these days, but you know. Oh wait, it's literally base Skadeen. I didn't even notice that. Bruh. Wait. My bad guys, it's base Skadeen. <laughs> there was a Hadrix Awaken right here. We haven't we didn't see this all game, so I kinda like you know, didn't pro you know, I didn't know that. I, I could literally just look, but you know, anyways. Defensive wall. I mean, it's still kind of. Mm, bruh, wait. Ono's win con's literally for Gale, and they also have a for Gale. This lives. Wait. Hit and run did like. I don't remember. I think this dies for Nose Dive. 120, I'm sure it dies. Nose Dive nukes everything. I, they might as well risk living with Jira, right, in this situation? Unless you're going Skadeen right now and hoping you live two, but that's unlikely. 
The hit run before did like this much, so I think it just kills. Because this is enough chip. But hey, well, I guess we'll see. I'm thinking about it. I mean, it's probably safe to just hit and run here. If you are ice. Like, unless you know for sure. Oh boy, 15 seconds. Bro, it's to click a move here. Wait. 10 seconds, click a move, bruh. 9, 8, bro, click a move, click a move. There it is. Nosedive misses! They missed the nosedive! Bruh! I'm pretty sure that killed too. Bro! Bro, what is going on? They missed the nosedive, Instant comes in. Balling? Rusty Roots kills the Insin. Craigle Day comes in. Calking for two minutes misses. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> Heat Bash does not kill. Tumlock is also. Yeah, it is actually. Never mind. Bro, this Jurassic is the absolute goat. Joking? Wait, what? I mean, they got punished by risking a nosedive and missing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Iron Slash. Well. Rip current. We see Skidine here. I mean, Ono has this. this is, you know, it's a 3v1. There's no way you lose this. This is gonna take a while, actually, though. Bunny Girl is going to uh, take a little bit. Bro, they got the confused. Wait, they got some RNG back. Did they hit? Nope. Nope. I mean, I don't think Ono can ever lose this, right? <laughs> Unless they get, like, absolutely hard RNG. They have a Jira, they have a Fregale, there's, like, you know. There's a Fregale on the days, which is neutral, because it's part basic, as well as air. And yeah, now they click Jet Strike, because it's Rip Current, right? Well, Jira is gonna win. Iron Slash. Imagine that crit. Yeah, they just go Skidine now, then they get this back in with healthy, more health. They always daze right now. Balling has to daze, or Ice has to daze. They don't. What? Okay, well, there was their shot at winning. Now it's over. They were only shot at winning. It was pretty much over anyways, to be honest. But, I mean, you might as well make the risk, right? Like, there you go. Confusion. That could have mattered. <laughs> anyways, though. Ono is going to take game one. one nothing. Over, yeah, over ice. Alright. I mean, that was a good set, to be honest. I kind of want to stay here and watch this. We're going to stay here, and we're going to look over more of Carr's suggestions as we wait. For game two to start. Alright. Next up, Mela Cads gets Warcry and Hydraulic Crash. I don't know about giving it Hydraulic Crash, that seems... Letting Malekant hit Earths does not seem like a good idea. What what switches into Malekant if it can hit Earths and does not take Recall, because it's, you know... Actually, does Hydraulic has Recall, right? Duh, right?
Or is this just... Yeah, it's 30... 30%? 30 What's the recoil on this? I think it's 30. 30%... Yeah. Oh, it's this... Yeah. This is definitely 30%. A little bit. I assume. Psychic Ram. Psychic Ram does not hit Earth types. Oh, Aristotle. Oh, you're saying. Malekant has Firecracker. It has Psychic Ram. It has the Poison Lacerate move. It has Stampede. Electro Bite if you want to run a 65 base power move. Yeah, no, it literally. Wait, did it? Did it lose? I swear it had an Earth move. Wait, it doesn't have. Yeah, no, no it does. Yeah. It has Stampede. Did it Stampede, Psychic Ram? Poison move, fire move, and we're giving it the opportunity to hit a reckless charge. Giving it the opportunity to hit, uh, what's it called? Waters with a 120 base power move? I, I don't, I don't like her, I don't like that. Warcry, I guess, it's not gonna use it anyways, but. Yeah, and then Kaleidoskunk gets Nightlight, that, I could see that being a thing. Gets 13 speed, getting 70 to 83. Loses magic defense, going from 100 to 90. Gets 10 magic attack, going from 90 to 100. I mean, it helps, but like, meh. It already has cape size? Bro, it does double the damage with... Bro. Cap size is 60 base power. This is a 120 base power hit. Clicking cap size on a Clangatang versus clicking hydraulic crash on a Clangatang is a huge difference. You're doing double the damage to it, right? Snow clone suggestion, deep freeze to brain freeze, brain freeze. This dude does ice type moves are 1.45 times more likely to protect or freeze. Frozen targets lose 6.5% HP per turn. I mean, I don't know how I agree with that plus the thing that literally can has five freeze chances. I like hmm. Co cone wait. Cone cannon can freeze, right? Yeah, 100% it can. Why would it not? That's literally the whole point of it. Small chance to freeze. Sorry, three times. Three. Three freezes. Yeah. Like, three opportunities to freeze, plus you get extra chip if you do freeze. That's like... You're increasing the freeze chance. Plus it's... Good god synergy. That's the thing, though. Why are we making it broken? No. This is like... We, we saw it today, it literally won games without this buff. Giving it a higher chance to freeze, plus you get extra chip if you do get the RNG. That just feels... No, I don't like that. Snorola definitely needs something. Snorola's suggestion is... Either Fur Coat or Addy Plus goes to Tenacious and he gets Chaos Assault Arctic Blitz and gets 5 speed... I mean, yes, this would make Snorola actually do something. Like, right now... Sorry. Right now, Snorola is kind of... It literally does nothing, right? Like, what, what is Snorola doing in any game? <laughs> it literally just sits there. But with this, I mean... Curse Assault Arctic Blitz, it becomes a freaking nuke, basically. Yeah. Tenacious plus Curse Assault plus Arctic... I mean, that might even be too broken. Isn't Arctic Blitz, like... No, it's... It's not. It can't be 150. It's just... It's, I mean, still at... At 120, it's still strong, right? It does, yeah, becomes... Oh, and it's 100! Okay, no, that makes... Yeah, no. 100? No, let's... I don't... I don't disagree with this. Like... Having... That would that would give Snorola something, right? And, so, like, right now, Snorola just sucks, right? You guys agree. It literally does nothing. Like, it's never used at all. But with this, I mean, you come in and you're just, like, a very slow nuke, basically, right? Like, this could even be used with RS or something. Like... You're 64 speed with the suggestion it gets to 69 speed. So you're 69 speed. You're still slow the majority of the game. You're 113 health. And this comes in and just nuke stuff, basically. And I mean, it has the the defensive typing. It's quad weak to melee. It's weak to... Bro. Snow roller. It's weak to fire. It's weak to... Metal. And it's like neutral to everything else, right? Snorola also has Firecracker. Oh, I didn't know that. But, like, it only has three... It is two resists and one immunity. So, like, 
majority of the game can hit this neutrally. Which, I mean... Mm, I mean, I would say remove a little bit of health if you're doing that. Because, like, nah. Having 113 health. Maybe, maybe take a bit of its health if you're doing that. But I do agree that that would give it something to... Like, a reason to exist. Right? Like, right now... Snorola is just a nothing right now. Like, nobody uses Snorola. There's no reason to use Snorola. With this, it would become a slow nuke. I just feel like... 113 health and you're neutral to, like, 90% of the game... I feel like is not a good idea. If it had more weaknesses, maybe... But, like, you know, I just feel like... Take some health. Or take some defense. Like, take some bulk from it before... Yeah. But, no, I, I do... Like, that... I could see that change working. Ostagon definitely needs something. 10 attack, yeah, changes base stats, they suck. Landslide, something's Toxic Gale. So Toxic Gale is a poison type physical 80 base power move. 30% stronger if Sans active. I don't really... What's Ostagon's attack to begin with? 95. So I mean, it becomes, what was it? 10, so 105 attack. I mean, I guess, but I feel like this is more used as a sand setter, right? Don't listen to any suggestions Scorch gives. I haven't suggested one thing. These are car suggestions that I'm reading. I mean, I can, maybe I should do, uh, then we won't see in the battle. So I can do this just so people know that they're like, you know, these are car suggestions. Yes. <laughs> but like, hmm. I feel like, you know. This isn't going to... I guess it gives it more of a... Wait. Wait, this is a move, right, Kate? I mean, it gives it something to do offensively. Like, right now, Ostagon literally does nothing. It has no stats on anything. So it's like, you know... The only reason you'd run Ostagon is as a sand setter. And it doesn't even set sand well, because the Anabita just does it bit better, because it can pivot, right? Like, Ostagon right now sucks. Like, it, its base stats suck. That's the only, like, you know... It has, like, War Cry, doesn't it? But it's still, like, you know... The base stats just don't make up for it. It does nothing, really. This, I mean, I guess it gives it a one good move, but still, it's... Or two, I guess, Landslide, too. But, like... Yeah. Sand Abuser. I mean, I guess Landslide doesn't miss, too. They can cut... Yeah, I mean, you can run it with Sand, and, like, it's like... Yeah, it immediately punishes, right? Because it has that... 30% boost on the 80 base power. Like, it has the poison move, which does get stronger in sand. And it's always going to get the boost because it is, you know, whatever. So it's, what, 104 base power poison move. You have a landslide, which never misses. It is, yeah, it's just another abuser, really. You have two strong stabs. I mean, this would definitely help it for sure. Like, right now it sucks. It has no nothing. It literally has nothing to be good. Like, it, it needs something like this, which... I mean, yeah, no, I agree with this. Because you run the sand ability on it, so you always come in with sand. And, I mean, it's it's not very fast. Like, it's... Oh, it is, actually. It's 100 speed. Wait. I don't know how... I've, oh, wait, sorry. It's Poison Beast. It's Earth's... Lonside isn't stabbed, but... Yeah, no. I, um... I mean, this helps. No, I, I, I don't know if I agree with... I don't know. I mean... This works, because, I mean, you need something to buff it, right? And this does do it well without, you know, making it too, too, too broken. Nianto gets hit and run and sharpen. I mean, sharpen's fine. Hit and run. What's the speed? It's slower. Oh, no, it's 96. Yeah, I mean, hit and run works. It does need... Like, a little something, which, I mean, this does help it a bit. It can set up bees, pivot out. Yeah, no, hit run work. Sharpen? I mean, I guess if you want to be offensive, then, yeah. I mean, you have 95. You have 117 attack in your, you know, awakened form. Mega pincer at this one? Pretty much. It's been 11 minutes? Has it actually? Guys, battle, please. I don't want to DQ people. Has it? No, it hasn't. We'll go back and stream. It's not been. Oh, wait. That's 14. Wait, it might act. Yeah, wait. Uh. 
Yeah, no, it's been 10 minutes. Guys, hop in your battle. I'm ready. Okay, they're hopping in right now, looks like. You know, I mean, Niantz with hit runs fine. Magmatoad, Steam Guard. This uh, Doodle's Evasion is boosted by one stage after being hit by a water move. Water moves do 2x less damage to this Doodle. I feel... Oh, and it gets Incinerate, too. Yes, I agree with giving it Incinerate. Changing the ability, I still feel like it sucks. Nobody's gonna run this. Even with it, because it just becomes a weakness, right? And the accuracy, nobody cares, right? Like, why would you run that, right? So, yeah, no, Incinerate would definitely help, because Magmatoad's been falling off. And, I mean, now it has a re something, you know, an extra utility. But, like... Steam Guard being like that's not going to change anything, in my opinion. And then we'll read one more. Rally Connus with Boo. Yes, evasion, yes. What do you mean? It boosts its own evasion, which is just deep. You know, it's the same as decreasing their accuracy, but it's just permanently on you. Evasion sucks. Like, having plus 6 evasion, it's like a 33% chance to get hit. Like, that's still... Or to miss, right? Like, it... Evasion's bad. Like, boosting your evasion, nobody cares about that. <laughs> like, evasion's... Yeah, like, nobody's gonna run that. They're always gonna run... You know, they never run that. Bubble of Steam Guard? And have you seen one bubble with Steam Guard? Like, Steam Guard's just nobody... There's no point to using that. Anyways, bubble would resist water. I guess that's something you buff bubble by making it resist water. I mean, that might be a reason for people to even use it. I don't know, but like for Magmatoad, I don't feel it's ever gonna be used. I don't see a point to people running that. For me, myself, I wouldn't run that. Like, you know. Anyways, though, game two here, we see a completely new team on Onelset. We see Thorn and Azer, Zura, Armoratus, Nimbel, Wolfries, and Fruitoad against another new team. Sursa, Grufflin, Infernus, Staligan, Jura, and Secrian. So... Hmm. I mean... Staligan... There's a metal type right here. Maratus is what? Crystal Ghost? So, like, neutral to. Yeah, but it loses. Yeah. Thorny Thwack kills here. Taunt Thorny and I would win this 1v1. True. Bro, card, that's at plus. What is evasion? It's 33% at plus 6. Bro, you have to. You have to get to plus 6 to get a 1 third chance to get hit? That's, like, never worth it. What? Plus one's like 75%, plus two's like 66, I think. Like, it's just never worth it to set up evasion, even if you get free evasion boots. You're still taking a super effective hit. And, like, name one one thing that Magmatoad can live two super effective water moves from, right? Like, there's no reason. I brought the worst team ever, so you might want to spectate me. Hmm. Nah, we're watching this one. All right, what did I'm? I'm gonna pay attention. What just happened? Saligan clicked something. Does not kill. This just gets to heal in front of it. Yeah. Compo. Wait, what? Com what? Never went for plus six and instant with smoke screen. Exactly, like, it's not worth, bro, clicking six moves to have a 66% a chance, chance to dodge a move? Like, what? Bro, you, you, that's not worth it. By the time you get that plus six, you're dead. Like, by the time you get plus three, you're dead, and that's like a f coin flip to get hit, right? Like, evasion sucks. You never want to set up evasion, like, in any situation, really. Or, like, you know, have an evasion. Like, I mean... Bubble would use it, yes. Magmatoad, no. You always die to two water moves from whatever anyways. So it would never positively impact it, really. Incinerate, though, yes, please. We need something. But anyways, Armoratus is here. Now, this is... What's it called? It's neutral to... Oh my gosh, why did this... 
It's, uh, it's neutral to mind. And, yep, there's this whole form change. Notorious for living 4x Russ. That's a 60 base power water move. That's, um... Does it live two of those? What? What? Lives everything. Huh? That That's not... That's just, like, a statement. Like, where's the... There's no way... Bro. I would pull up a Calic, but we're in the middle of the battle. Name one thing that Magmatoad lives two waters water moves from. That's not, like, Octonut. Or, like... Dame, see whatever the other one of these is called. Or does it? No, that even has attack, doesn't it? A hundred magic attack. Retaliate into true power. True. Wait. From what, bro? Name something that Octonaut lives two water moves from. You can't just say, oh, one time it lived this and was a goat and won me the game. No. Name what? <laughs> name. Okay, wave shot Finwick. Okay, real things, please. Real things. <laughs> also, what just happened? Who DQ'd? Or DC'd? Uh, did Ono? Did Ono disconnect? Yeah, I think. Oh, okay. Well, Ono disconnected there. All right. No, but, like, listen. Like, nobody's. Nobody's, uh. Nobody's giving me no like. There's literally nothing. There's never a situation where you care. So like, you never live two water moves from anything, even with the two X. So the the what's the point of ever having that plus one evasion? My mouse was on the X button. Bro, what? Don't you have to, like, amazing way to lose? Bro, don't you have to, like, click the X and then click this? Wait, what? Oh. Don't show again, and then it never... Bruh, don't do this, guys. Make sure you never click this, because you might accidentally X out like Auto did. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Then make Doodle World tourney earlier? Nah. This is probably the best time for me. Like, probably the best. Like, it is the best time for me, but, like, probably the time it's gonna stay at. It's like. I don't know. Th there's no way I can find the perfect time, obviously. Like, so many people are like, oh, Scorch, can you make it later? I have church. Oh, Scorch, can you make it earlier? Because my time's. Was, like, you know, there's, there's like 30 something time zones, right? So it's like, you know, it's impossible to find the perfect time. See guys, this is where we, uh, this, uh, it started three hours ago. This is where we host a live, live Scorch Cup in person. And you need to get <laughs> in person Scorch Cup, guys. In person Doodle Cup. Yo, Wish Z, can 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 I host an in-person Doodle Cup with you? <laughs> so real. Esports, guys, let's have it. Let's host an in-person esports Doodle Cup. Oh yeah, I guess we could read more suggestions from Kara. Bolt and Chan skip. Okay. Tulena A gets. Five attacks on both? No, why? Wait, why are we giving it five attack? What, that makes, what's the reason? What? Five speed. Why? No, stop. What, there's gotta, what, what's the reason for adding it, giving it five attack on both sides and five speed? Like, what, what is that doing and what's the reason for it? Toxicity cures poison. That should always be a thing. It should never be able to get poisoned. Revert? I didn't even know it lost five attack. Speed is a buff. 
I mean, you speed tie stuff like Zapoera and stuff, like all the 110s. Now. I don't like it being 110. I feel like that's too strong. I feel like 109 maybe, but I feel like being able to outspeed or speed tie like a million things like Lorkella, Zapoera, uh, Ro oh, well, there's more. I, I forget because old Rotar changed. There's so many things that are 110 that I feel like it's too strong to be at 110. Uh, by base stat. Like, you're tying this, you're, you're making this faster than Tough Lays A, which, I mean, Tough Lays A deserves to be faster, because, you know. Where's, what are the, what are the 110s? That's a lot. I just forget. Zapoera, Thornet, Bunsra, Lumaline Awaken, Crowter, Grufflin, Lorkelly, like. You're making it faster than Dayferno, you're making it faster than Flup, you're making it fa like, why? This thing has much better offensive, you know, capability than stuff like Dave Furnival. We're making it faster than it. Like, and same with Tough Lays. I, I don't agree with this, because then things like, like, then the 110s that think they outspeed it are scared of it, right? And some things lower can't, you know, ever outspeed. I feel like just, Tulana A has too much offensive capability to, you know, and plus the sleep, like, it just seems too strong offensively to be that fast. Revert the tough speed, true. Alright, what else did you say? Uh, Koryu gets quick ice back, that kind of makes sense. Kakmeo gets Venom Bite? Mm, for what? Why? Wait, airs? I guess. Patrick's with Siphon Soul. I don't like that. No. I mean, well. Hmm. I mean, the Awakened version could use it. And you could also run routine specs and, like, get a bunch of health back. Like, I wouldn't call that a small buff. Quick Eyes Koryu, yeah. Cacme of Venomite, yeah. But, like,. You're, you're given Hatricks the opportunity to just heal a million health back, right? Like, it has routine. Like, Night Knight's strong enough. You're giving it a... Is it stronger? Or? No, si wait. What, what base power is Siphon Salt? Is it... Uh, 80? It's 70. It is 70, so it's the same as... It's just, it's just better Night Night. It, it literally is just Night Night, but it's just better. I mean, oh, Scorch the Sleep... You never use that. It's just better Night Night. Which, I mean... I mean, to be honest, here. To be honest, it doesn't necessarily buff, like, Emerald Routine Max Attack Patrick's, right? Because it never really cares about health. Like, it always just dies to everything anyways. What it does is it gives Hatrix Awakened better, you know, makes it Hatrix Awakened better. Which, I mean, it sucks right now. So, I would say yes. Like, if it was, like, a stronger dark move, probably not because you're buffing, like, offensive Hatrix. But, offensive Hatrix never really uses it anyways. The only thing this is going to impact is Hatrix Awakened, which does, you know, probably need something more. So, yeah, no. Bro, I mean, it doesn't suck, but... Okay, suck's not the word. It's not popular. Bro, Hatrix Awakened is not... Bro. How... Like, usage doesn't speak for anything, but... Hatrix Awakened doesn't do much currently. There's a lot of Awakens out there that outclass it. And I mean, this... Like, it's not... This would not make it broken. It'd just make it more viable, which it kind of needs right now, right? Like, it's not... Yeah, it, it doesn't, I, I, th that was poor choice of words. It doesn't suck. But, like, it's not, it's definitely not above average, right? Like, it's just kind of there. Mallow A? I mean, Mallow A is, hmm. I mean, Mallow A has the whole sleep and steal thing. It has that kind of thing. Or niche, what, you know, like, it, it has that, what's the word? Only it has that, right? Which is great, because you can take an item from anything and sleep anything besides Awakens. And I mean, what are the stats on it? 140. Yeah, no, it, it has 140 attacks. Like, 
Mallow A is probably fine. It, it has a lot of stuff it can use. It can consume treasure even. It has Burning Orb. It has a bunch of moves. Night Night, Fatal Flaw, Hydraulic, RS, Psycho Connect. Like, tri like it, it, there's a lot of, you know, it has a lot of utility. That's the word. Disarm even. Patrick's A, I mean, it has Bs. What is Lewis Pro 2? What the heck? Is it? Yeah, no. Patrick's A, wait, wait just Patrick's. Oh, it's Hatrix's. Hatrix has RS, it has B summon. Pylon. Wait, this has a lot more. Wait, what the heck? Consuming your runestone? Yeah, no, that's why I s you don't do that. I stopped myself before I fully pronounced that. I didn't realize actually how much. Like, Hatrix has both hazards. Has Burning Orb. Has like heal, has magical shield, has RS, has curse. Actually, nah, I don't even know. I don't like that. I'm gonna say no, actually. I didn't realize how much utility this actually had. Giving this Siphon Soul is just like. Nah, it already has so much utility. If you're doing this, then I agree. No, Malachick might even. Like, how's that fair to Malachick or something? Like, given Hatrick's more survivability, for what reason, right? Like, I, I do realize, they got, yeah, no, not many people use it, but at the same time, I didn't realize that, no, it literally has one, two, three, four. Uh, they're at the bottom. Five, six, seven utility moves. Eight, if you want to count harmony. Like, this is a lot more than I thought. Giving it a, no, giving it more survivability is probably not. I mean, is it even going to use Night Night or uh, whatever it's called? The, the what is it? Siphon Soul. Like, I mean, yeah. The majority of the time, it's clicking something like you know, B. Like, it's it's got a bunch of utility. It's literally clicking those. It has Psycho for stab. Like, it, this would be its stab actually. It wouldn't. It would run this as its stab, and then it would just help it with survivability. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't, I just don't feel like there's a need. Like, so that Hatrick say sucks. It says Hatch like I thought it just wasn't used because it just didn't have anything. But it literally has a million utility moves. So I feel like buffing this, giving it more survivability is just there's no reason to, right? So I'm gonna say no. But anyways, we are going to be hopping into game three shortly. Wish or Wish Z has made an announcement. So Here, let's let's pull this up on the screen. Oops. Image. All right. We have an announcement. Reason for the change that we saw earlier. So, skin artists get paid per skin they make. Some of them have bills and finances they have to take care of every month, which is why they draw us. Draw, draw for us. Pay them a decent amount per skin, not too much, not too little issue. We found is that the majority of skins aren't worth it for us, especially three stage skins. They very rarely make Back the money we paid for them. I do not want things such as the limited amount of skin artists do every month. So we want the drawing board to determine. Hmm. So they think the reason people aren't hunting for skins is there's too many skins. They're always huntable, so why purchase and hunt for them? They aren't worth much for trading. This is true. No, I agree. There, there's no value in them. Like. If you want a skin, you can always hunt for it. You can get it later. Like, I've never hunted for a skin in the last, like, year, really. So, like, you know, you can always... Also, by the way, this I'll make this a little smaller so you can... There's no battle. Um, you know, I agree. Like, having them limited time thing would force people to want to go for them. And it would add value to them. And, you know, would trade... Force people to trade them. But again, dropping the change so suddenly, I don't know if I agree with that. Solve the three issues, but rightfully people complain the original invitation was dog awful. 
I don't agree with how he said this, but it is sort of true. Ensure safety for artists and make skins. We took the amount of criticism. By making every vintage skin obtainable again, as I assume the main issue is people out of the old vintage. So, I don't really understand. This doesn't really say anything. The idea was two vintage skins per doodle every week, but like, that doesn't, that still makes it so every skin is always around, right? Like, throw it just goes into rotation, I guess, which does not add value to them because an infinite of them will still exist, but I mean, I guess it forces people to hunt for the skins they want, which, you know, is something that they, you know, wanted to implement or whatever. Like, if you can only get two skins a week or whatever it is, then like, you know, once your skin comes around, you're going to go for it that week because you want to get it. But it just, you know, there's no value on it. People still won't trade skins, probably. In my opinion. At least, like, in a way that it's worth value. Like, oh, you know, whatever. Spectate? Yeah, no, we're here. But value... Yeah, no, I agree. Like, doing this two months... Or two years later is... Yeah. I, this is why they upset this. Let's come. This is why people are upset, right? Because... Skins have been like this for so long, and now three months later, sudden or three. So, why am I saying three? Two years later, it's just suddenly changed out of nowhere, right? So I, I understand why people are upset, but uh, yeah, I don't really understand the whole revenue thing. Like, are they talking about shop skins and people buying shop skins? Like, how does how does how does me hunting a skin impact how much artists are paid? Like. They get paid from premium payouts, which is premium players playing the game. They get paid from game passes, obviously. How does that relate to, like, somebody just playing the game and hunting a skin? I guess it gets people playing the game more, which is premium payouts and, you know, player, like, you know, I don't know. It's not like they get, well, actually, we don't even know, like, maybe they get paid based on how much skin is, like, you know. Yeah. He didn't need money once in PvP chat, so I don't know. Bro, what? This He's got to, like... Wait, Doodle World's losing many? There's no way. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like, more, It gets people to play the game more, I agree. But, like... Having someone hunt for a skin versus have someone hunt for a mist tin is still the same playability. Like, is this gonna make people hunt more? Maybe, but it's not gonna. Well, I guess. Actually, no, I guess that does make sense. Like, forcing people to. Yeah, I know. That does make sense. Because you'll get more people. But again, like, event skins. What are event skins gonna be like? Yeah. I mean, the people that always hunt are still always going to hunt, but it might add more, you know, you know, more people will hunt because they want to get the skin before it leaves or whatever. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, we're going to talk about this team. We have Wolfrey's Lumaline, Fruitoad, Koryu, Thornit, Zerzura, which... I mean, right now, Ono's forced into, like, Fruitoad? Yeah. Against Rip Torment, Merciless, Jestral, Gruff on A, which is very low incident Jurassic here. That's true. Actually, Knight, you have a point there. Another another fair point is, yeah, I mean somebody wants a specific skin, they're just gonna wait for it to appear. And then hunt for it. Rather than like, you know, hunt for it now when they have a possibility to get it now. Like th th there's there's a statement to both sides here, right? It's a complicated situation, to be honest. Alright, shock therapy goes up. They belch, predicting the switch out, but they don't. Feral does nothing, they get moment. Oh, they belch again! So, Ono is really wanting to predict this, but Ice is just staying in. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, wait, I didn't even see that. Being able to purchase skins from the Doodlepedia, like, being able to purchase any skin you want from the Doodlepedia for gems is, I mean, that's monetization. Let's see, yeah, that makes sense. Same with tasks. Same with, like, people don't want to, you know, you, you, you can pay. You, you can pay to speed up the process, right? Like, instead of, you know, completing the tasks, I can pay gems to do them. Now, instead of hunting for the skin, you can pay gems to do that. I agree with that. No, the, the whole gem thing. I mean, from a from a developer's perspective, that makes sense. Like, nobody's going to be upset that you can purchase, you know, skins for gems. Unless, well, it's not going to remove value because, like, you can just hunt for any skin anyways, right? Because they're going to come around in the rotation. All right, pylons go up. Daze does not kill. Rotation shop and oasis? Hmm, I guess so. Premium skins will cost more. Yeah, I mean, it does help, like, the algorithm or whatever, like, it's, yeah. But yeah, we, uh, we have Wolfries here. And I mean, switch-ins include... Rip Torvin, which, I mean, takes a chunk. Yeah, yeah, it's around 4k. It's for skin. Jurassic comes in. All right. On the crunch, which is, I mean, it's dead now. <laughs> Naked Jurassic, true. He's trying to get to top eight. And get to top four to get that scorch recolor. All right, we see Lumaline come in on the shifting winds. Crumbs might be better than Savage Lord, the defense drop. I mean, depends. 10 base power, yeah. Alright, pylons go up. Same skin can't be chosen for rotation since you bought it. Be nibbling is chosen four times in a row. Yeah, that's true. They, they won't do that. There's no way it'll be two in a row. Or like, in a row, you know. Like, they'll go around. Yeah. I, uh, I don't think the, uh, there's a comeback here for, for Ice, I'll be honest. Like... Wolf comes in and gets a kill now, doesn't it? Like always. Or this, which gets to set up bees, I guess. Or bees up, actually. Thorny Thwack will kill with the crit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, wait, runic doodle skins, right. Wait, I just realized, why is Wish worried about vintage skins when like Icy Ridge has been like the focus for like a month? Wasn't it? Wait, why are they making a huge change to skins when like Icy Ridge has been like delayed for like a month? Base Lumaline? Yes, it is. <laughs> Alright, Marcinus here resists both stabs, but I mean, does it s Oh, is there a surge yet? Oh. Well, I'll kill now. <laughs> I love base Lumi. Hmm. It's Luna line. Get it? Because the moon? Or moon's called Luna or something?
All right, we see a daze, which I mean the retaliate's gonna kill. Smart. And now, I mean, every time Wolf comes in, it gets a kill, really. So <laughs> they sack this and set in front of Reptorvent and uh, go Wolf Freeze, and then they win. Ruffin sacks too. Oh, there's a Koryu too, even. I didn't even realize the Koryu wins. <laughs> Literally, Koryu wins by itself, or Wolf wins, like, you know, either one, or the combination of them. Koryu and Wolf, bro, that's like... Remember the days when Kor Koryu and Wolfries were everywhere? Bro, they just rested. <laughs> Rest Thorn at A. I like Leech Sheet more. True. Parasitic seeds. All right, we see the chaotic bolt in the nightlight. Aurora flash is gonna hurt. Does not kill. Wait, did that just go first? That just went first. Emerald, emerald incin or something? Is that an emerald incin? That's wild. But they go, j huh? Huh? I don't know what that double was, but I mean, Ano got the best of it, obviously, and they just kind of win now. Defense dropped for no reason. Well, that's, um, well, that's interesting. I mean, Ano always wins this. I don't think there's ever a comeback here for Ice, but I mean, hey, there might be this one out. Dark Slash, yep. Yeah, I know it's cloak menacing. I remember when I ran something like this. Back in the days where like Defensive Core you, that was like a while ago. That was like before the Academy or like as the Academy dropped, I don't remember. How low is instant again? It's five, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think this might be GG's, you guys. Down goes Insen. Falling through. Oh wait, yeah. Wait, yeah. Cause they led Insen, and it went out first. Bowling or er, Auto knew that it was uh it was Emerald. That's crazy. Remember when you brainwashed people into thinking sharpens their zero was good? Who? What? Who did that? Huh? <laughs> what? Bro, is the Doodle World community that, like... Hmm. How? Guys, I think, uh... I think Magma Toad's actually broken, so... Don't, don't use Magma Toad. It's actually broken. Pretend that Game 2 DQ is a disrespect. That's crazy. Alright, anyways, Ono takes it 2-1, although it was, the one loss was a DQ, which is funny, but, anyways, Ono does take it 2-1 over Ice, and is, yes, made it to top 8 tomorrow. But anyways, that is the last match of the day, we're gonna take a look at our bracket tomorrow, and yeah, oh, is that good, oh, this one, alright. Alright, anyways, let's take a look at the finals bracket tomorrow.
All right. So, looking at the brackets. So, this is the winner of, you know, everybody's bra or every bracket. So, we had Builder. We have Builder and Orang facing off. We have Red and Ender Dino. We have Onomatopoeia and Ominous. And we have Radio and Memer. So, hmm. I think this is this Builder's first top eight. And Radio's first top eight. Let's see. So, two, you know, new players to the finals. And maybe Builder made a top eight in the past. I don't remember. Click on the project projector, that means nothing. That, that's not, that, that literally means nothing. Doesn't even work. <laughs> but anyways, yes, we will, again, tomorrow, this is not my first time. Okay, I said maybe you made one in the past. All right, they have made one in the past then. First, first top eight in a while. There. Anyways, we, yes, tomorrow, same time as this stream started, we will be you know, finals day will occur, and, uh, yeah, we'll have these eight players facing off for, yeah, for the winner. So, prizes are different, so, oh, wait, one sec. Okay, so, prizes are different, so the winner, instead of a star sticker, so, we're not gonna have star stickers, right, because, you know, Wish is no longer decided to give those out to us. So, yeah, top in a while. The winner, it will be the same prizes as last time. The only difference is the star sticker. I clicked on it, it didn't work. The, the difference is the star sticker. It has been replaced by a Battle Pass Premium. So, you know, you get a Premium Battle Pass. If you have it already, I think you get like 7,500 gems. Plus the roll, plus 800 Robux, plus a recolor. Then, yeah, second gets 400 a recolor, and then... The two who make top four and lose get a hundred and a recolor. So, yeah, that um, yeah, that will be what we'll yeah what we'll witness. So what's gonna happen tomorrow? So yeah, hope to see you guys tomorrow. Other than that, though, I am still working on my new approach to PvP videos slash showcases in Dota World. So like, or I guess we both games, but I'm working on a new kind of theme. D Dude World themed PvP video, which I'm honestly really excited for. So, yeah, I don't know when that'll be. I'm taking my time on it because I want it to be proper and, you know, high quality when it comes out. But just so you know, that is being worked on. And yes, I mean, Lumi Legacy video, I will be doing that tonight or tomorrow, hopefully tonight. And then, yeah, Dude World Showcase. I mean, I might do a showcase. If there's a new thing and it's showcaseable, I might showcase. But really, my priority for Dude World is the new kind of video idea theme series you guys will see but anyways i yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you guys tomorrow for yeah for doodle cup 17 finals day yo gems i i i, pr I clicked project and it literally did not work i don't know why but yeah anyways i'll have an announcement up in the discord where you guys can vote on who you think is going to win tomorrow. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time as this stream started. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you guys soon. Until next time, Scorch. Out.